The Quote Goats Podcast. The Quote Goats Podcast. It's episode 12, episode if I'm not 12. mistaken. Oh yeah, 12, baby. We in here. I told we you. in here. Here to stay, man. Hope, you know, a lot of people... Fuck with our fuck with our shit, man. They was, starting to fuck with us. Yeah, it was a good it was a good little weekend. And yeah, Tommy we, was calling me. He was like, "Yo, bro, it just keeps going up. The numbers, <laughs> the numbers keep going up." I'm like, "Bro, I see it. I see it. I felt a little famous. You know? A little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On TikTok, it was a lot of engagement, a lot of comments, a lot of views. And it felt good to really start making some traction. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. Um, you know. I didn't know the tick TikTok algorithm, you know, was so so crazy. Not to attribute the whole thing to the algorithm, you know, it was some good content we had, but it's just the engagement, still. how fast it was flowing through. Yeah, once you know? it, once once you catch the algorithm, it just yeah, it goes it goes crazy, and then it kind of slows down a little bit, and then if you know you know how it worked, man, it's it's I liked it, man, and I think too with that podcast, it was very we it was very you know. Yeah, we had some good topics. Good time, it was a good time. We was laughing. It was yeah, genuine. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of honesty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely, a lot of uh, comments in the in the TikToks and a lot of hate. You know. Yeah, so we gotta address some of the comments too. Yeah. We gotta read the com- some comments, some of the best comments later. Yeah, that's a fact. Shout some people out. You know what I'm saying for supporting that shit. But anyway, we got a special guest in the building today. I don't want to mess up your name because I mess up names. <laughs> so I'm going to let you tell the people what your no, name is. I was curious. I can't say. I don't even want to try. Say it. Say it. <laughs> try it. It's like Julie Giuliano or something. Or yeah. Ju- that's it? Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm about to just say Jay. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your, what's your last name? Marino. Marino. You got to say it like that? You can't just say Marino. Juliana, Mar- I can't. gotta put that little tongue thing on it. I can't. Marino. Juliana Mar- Marino. <laughs> are you German? Uh, no, my parents are Italian. I was born and raised in Nuremberg, but okay. uh, my blood is Italian, and yeah, my craziness as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, Span- uh, Italian women can be <laughs> kind of crazy them. on the TikTok. They be that's what they say <laughs> on the TikTok. Yeah, I fe- I be feeling like uh, Italians are very passionate over their food, bro. Like anytime I see, they're just a passionate to, people yeah, yeah, yeah. in general, right? Yeah, that's true. It's cool. That's cool though. Fun people though. Yeah, you don't. I'll just say you don't want to be boring. You know. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and um, the reason why we got Julie Juliano. Juliana. Juliana. Okay, Juliana. Oh, Julie. Just call me Julie. Okay, oh, Julie yeah, is on the dude. podcast yeah. today, <laughs> and uh, she was a. Uh, Cause should I say former Playboy Bunny or no, once you a Playboy a Bunny, playmate. always a yeah. playmate, right? Except for my wife, she ain't no motherfucking play. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. Uh. Or does, doesn't she want to? She's uh, she did it under other circumstances, you okay. know, and she had like a bad. She had like a bad experience oh, with the, really? not with the company itself, but just with you know the stigma that comes with. Mm, I see. Being a you know in the in the like you know she was really really conservative beforehand mm-hmm, okay. and had a whole bunch of conservative bookings and stuff and then once mm-hmm. she did it they all was like Ew, mm-hmm, maybe we I don't see. want you to represent our brand you yeah. know shit like that did you have any trouble with stuff like that no because I uh, I totally fall into it so I was not modeling before just okay yeah as as a kid I did some you know, catalog shoots and okay. stuff like that. But um, it was more fun for me. So how early did, if you don't mind me, how, like how okay. early did you start, like um, just getting into modeling in, in general? Um, so I did this um, fashion shoot for kids um, at 13. Okay. Um, but it was just, you know, s- sporadic. I didn't okay. do it all the time. So I was at school and um, I just fall into this um, Playboy thing by um, uh, it was a casting for a for a calendar in Nuremberg, and uh, the guy who was shooting he said that he he knows people at Playboy and stuff and I was like yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> I was like I, I'm doing it anyway shit. yeah you know I said I'm I'm gonna do it anyway I just, I'm just curious mm-hmm. about this experience and um, so I did the shoot and he said do you mind if I send the pictures to Playboy. 
And I said, oh, it, you wear for real? <laughs> so it was, a, it was a nude shoot? Mm, it was topless. It was topless. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> You found so, out when you got yeah. there. Yeah, I did. How was that? So, what, was the, what was the like said, reaction to that? It, it said it was well, a pinup so. shooting. Yeah. So oh, for okay. me, a pinup shooting is not, you know. I mean, it's kind. Of, you, it doesn't I, have to be topless. It doesn't have to be, but it's in the realm of possibilities if it's a yeah, pinup shoot. But I don't know. even know what that means. I don't know nothing about <laughs> modeling pinup. What, what's that? What is like, pinups are usually like more risque, you know, like. Sex, super sexy shit, right? Yeah, but you know, in in bikini or underwear, stuff or like topless. That. Well, I or found out or nude. topless. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I bitched around a little bit because I was still in high school and oh shit. So, um, I didn't feel really comfortable. Um, and it was your first shoot, like in a while or um, something. It was, yeah, in a while. How exactly. old were you? I was eighteen. Okay, so you was of age, so it wasn't like oh, a yeah, like yeah. a perv guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me see them things. That's hurt easy. No, it was not the cliche uh, okay. kind of scene. Uh, uh. Okay. And um, yeah, so I ended up um, having nice pictures, and he asked if he can send them to Playboy Germany. Okay. And um, yeah, and they invited me. It was really weird, and when I came back. I was on the road from Munich to, to Nuremberg. They called me and I was like, oh shit, I forgot something. Because mm. they call and they were like, um, are you free in two weeks? Because we want to shoot you. And I said, oh, what? Um, yeah, yeah you, that's crazy. you will be uh, Miss April 2005. <laughs> 2005? Yeah. A minute ago. It's like, yeah. <laughs> a minute I ago. mean, not to like call you out on it, but I'm just saying. I thought it was 2007. Or did you do? Did you start in two thousand five? And I started in Germany, and then I became um, Playmate of the Year. You became you was Playmate of the Year in, in Germany, Germany. Mm -hmm. in two thousand five. Yes. Damn, I didn't know and that. Yeah, that's fire. Bro. <laughs> that's fire. And, like um, you know, career wise, that's pretty. pretty step especially for your well, first photo shoot back as a, as an eighteen year old and stuff. Yeah, it was cool. It was fun. I did a lot of stuff, a lot of interviews. I went. Um, yeah, I did also TV stuff and here in know, Germany. In Germany, okay. And once you like, I don't feel. I feel like Playboy today doesn't garner the attention that it did like back then or like yeah. years before. Like I feel like girls do Playboy nowadays, and it's not really talked. You don't about really, yeah. It's not really a talked about yeah. thing. I think it was because no. of the age of like social media and OnlyFans and all these other things. Yeah, because it's, it's nudity everywhere. Yeah, it's nudity everywhere. It kind of takes people the, ain't in the magazines like yeah. that no more. Everything's digital, you know. I mean, but at the same time, Playboy has platforms that shoot out <coughs> digital content. But like I was too. saying last time, Playboy is real like classy, classy, and yeah. maybe people want to see more of that raun that raunchy shit these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to see some twerking. Ain't I no, ain't know. no twerking in Playboy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't enough That's booty at Playboy to be, <laughs> no, but uh, uh I, but c continue with with your story if you can remember where you stopped. Yeah, I um, so well, I was Playmate of the Year and did a lot of fun stuff, and I finished my high school, and it was horrible in school because in um in Bavaria they are pretty conservative. <laughs> yeah, they pretty like judgmental. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It was hard in school. So they were making fun of me, but then secretly bought everything out. Uh, like everything was sold out. And um, say that you hated your best customers. And um, so I was just happy that I finished school. And it was actually my last exam uh, that day. It went horrible. But I had a party that I had to attend in Munich because mm -hmm. um, they said that uh, you have nurse coming with his girls. And um, I was playing it all the year. So I had to bring him uh, the birthday cake because he did this uh, Europe trip for his 80th birthday. Oh, okay. So uh, so that this was your first time meeting him? Exactly. Okay. And um, so I was, you know, still in this exam mood and just, you know said, oh, God, I messed it up and said, okay, I'm happy that I have to work tonight, so I don't think about it. Yeah. And then I I met him, but it was, like, very official and everything, like, you know, hi, it's Hev, hi, it's Juliana, that's it. And um, But during the night, I, s I started talking to Kendra, and um, 
it was really fun. And Kendra, that's Kendra one of his girlfriends, right? It was right? one one of his girlfriends. Yeah, like, like three girlfriends at the exactly. time. Exactly. Holly, Bridget, and Kendra. Wow, he was old as hell. That's crazy. <laughs> Probably wasn't smashing none of them. But anyway. <laughs> that's crazy. But they talk about that in the documentary a little bit. We're going to get into that. But yeah, keep, keep yeah. going. Um, so I met him there and um, and Kendra said, oh, my God, is this you? And then she she looked up the issue that was uh, laying around and she said, can I have an autograph? And I said, OK, this is something like that was in Wonderland. Like I it wasn't real. Type yeah. It didn't feel real. So you want my autograph? Yeah, this yeah. is like um, vice versa. She was <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> no. So she took it and she said, oh, you're so hot. You're so hot. Da da da. And um after a while, I cannot say when, they called me and asked me if I want to test shoot in the USA. Okay, okay. So this is the path to you making it to the mansion. Yeah, but I was like, hmm, do I want to go there? <laughs> Why and wouldn't you? Why not? I mean, I was I was curious about it, but um, you hear the the rumors. <laughs> what's, the yeah. nah, nah, what's the rumors? <laughs> nah, now you got to talk about it. What's yeah, what's one of the rumors that you heard and, back um, then? And I was like, oh, God, you have no, and he's so old, and I don't know if I want to go there. And um, so. <laughs> he's so old. <laughs> you know, like, he, he was very kind that evening, but you never know. I mean, they said once he was you a very, are there. They said he was a very charming, very charming oh, guy. Oh, he was, yeah. He was very kind and, you know, just polite, a gentleman. And also the girls were, yeah. you know, they, they didn't, you know, freak out or something. Okay. Was everything really classy. And um, and they asked me, if, and I said, so where I'm staying? Yeah, you're staying at the Playboy Mansion. I'm like, do I? <laughs> 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 like, what, what about hotels or something? And they said, no, the girls that are shooting, they, they are staying at the guest house. Okay. Which is on the property. And I said, okay, so do I just stay there or what do I have to do? Yeah, just stay there. And I said, okay. <laughs> but, like, did you have, like... Things that you just like rumors about the mansion or something. Yeah, I thought that like I have to sleep with him sleep to be a playmate. Oh. Like, I was, you, and you had this thought back then? It, it, well, I didn't hear it, but it was my imagination of you have I mean, anybody would have oh, imagined yeah, I would, that. I would, I would think would, that. Yeah. Even as a dude, you would think like the girls that yeah. are there, he could probably just have his, him. have his way with, with him. him. Like, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> I was but, freaked out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually you took the offer. I did because um, another German playmate was there as okay. well. She was uh, the previous uh, playmate of the year, and she said that nothing happened there. Like they're just staying there and they shoot, and it's very everything is very professional. Okay. And I knew it from Germany because it was professional as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there were mostly women working there, so it was really I really felt comfortable, more comfortable. Especially than I the thought. fact that you heard it from a, a native. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, somebody I, vouched I for. I knew him. her like yeah. we were friends back then. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, and I said, okay, I, I will try. I mean, I can scream and just go out out there if it's getting too weird or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing happened. I went there. I didn't even see him. They just welcomed me and told. Me, told me everything about it okay um, some you know yeah it was like i was a guest and how was how long okay go ahead i just wanted to ask like when you got in there did they like come and like bring like a golden platter and <laughs> like, no welcome so, to the playboy man yeah. <laughs> right, i wish know? they and did they were like, oh, oh yeah like when the doors open no so my my flight was very late okay and i arrived very late in the night somewhere I, I don't even remember. It was like 11 or 12 okay. at night. And, um, and there was this butler and um, he welcomed me and I went through the... I can just imagine the butler walking up and hello, madam. <laughs> welcome welcome <laughs> to the plate. With a tray, with a platter. <laughs> like, <what's his> name? <laughs> your, coat, your coat, madam. <laughs> I was, I was no, actually it was um, just a nice black guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> they say he was really inclusive with the people that he hired and stuff. Like... He was really before. Yeah, it was super mixed. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was uh, the that people diverse. were like you and me. Like it yeah. was not. There was one guy who reminded me of Alfred. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So he has more than one butler. 
in the yeah. there's a mansion, nigga. Hell of people there. Damn. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Was it like when she arrived? Was it like everybody's like in all white robes? No. Was it just, was it nice there though? Like it was a nice like big compound, like big mansion. Yeah. So I entered from the back gate and I was a little bit disappointed because it was all so unglamorous. Really? Yeah. And I said, Oh my god, uh, this is the this is the gate. And I was not informed that I. I came in from the back gate. I didn't know it. there was a front gate. I didn't know anything. They probably just didn't keep the back up, but nobody make it to that <laughs> point of the, of the fucking <laughs> of the mansion. <laughs> They're That's just trying true. to get a, get to a room or get to the grotto. That's the name of the like the little pool area, yeah, right? Exactly. So, so you were thinking like when you were going through the back gate, this was could possibly be the front gate type shit. Yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is not as as nice a, as people tell me. Yeah. It is. And um, yeah, just entered it, and it was so tired. I just you know, I just passed out. In my room, okay. the room was very girly and everywhere. Um, Playboy bunny pictures. Is it like f- a lot of furry shit, like furry yeah. beds and stuff? Yeah, it is. It's, it's very seventy style. <laughs> <laughs> it's seventy style. Yeah. I mean, it's Hugh Hefner we talking about, man. He Damn. kept that shit. It was he like the he like the real life like I he Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's like the real life. I mean, he didn't really have that that uh, <laughs> that that persona, but yeah. like. This he like the imp- epitome of like a playboy in that in that time. time I mean, hence the name. But you know, he he set up like this whole empire centered around like like beautiful women and shit. And he was just always surrounded by yeah. beautiful women, and that was like his livelihood. And like he took his he took his pick of the women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I was the the picture I had from him is that. Uh, women are approaching him to become a playmate. Yeah. And whatever that means. Uh, so, like whatever it takes. Yeah. And I fell into this playmate th- uh, thing in Germany and I fell into this playmate thing in, in America. It was never my intention to be a playmate. Mm-hmm. So uh, there was not this motivation to do everything to become a playmate. Mm-hmm. Okay. And But at um, this point he was also old, right? Yeah, he was 80. Yeah, so he probably wasn't trying to do nothing. He, he, it's not enough Viagra. I have no idea. I was just freaked out. <laughs> okay, so but your so your 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 first day after you fall asleep, you get there. Yeah. What happens on your first day? Like, um, so people just welcome me. I met a thousand people. I <coughs> it took me around a week just to talk because it was the first time in the U.S. and I had this school English that I learned that um. it was like shit. <laughs> Okay. And um, so I just listened for a week. Straight. Okay, I got you. Um, did that little? Did that bother you a little bit too? Like the, yeah. the English wasn't so well either. Yeah. And now you're going to the U.S. Yeah. And you got this image of. I was super intimidated. Okay. Um, but so far everything was fine. The people were super kind. They said that I can order whatever I want, and then whatever you need, and like whatever. Like they had. Any food we're talking or? about food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Food. Yeah, we're talking about food. Just <laughs> any, like anything. Like yeah, yeah, they have like a pantry in this kitchen, and they have like Chef, chefs, chefs, and, and they do whatever you want. This is a compound, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you got a TV and everything in there too, right? Yeah, I, I had everything. Everything, and, and you're getting paid the whole time. No, so you get there to they they paid for the flight and um and stay and everything mm-hmm. and. Then I can't remember how many days later I started to test shoot, and it was around three days that mm. we that we shoot it, and it was just the, the test shoot. It was not the original shoot. Oh, okay. And so it was not even. Um, I, I wasn't sure about being a playmate there, but then we took the pictures, and then after a while, it said, "Yeah, Mr. Hefner wants this, and Mr. Hefner wants that." I was like, he's 80. Is he still working? And they said, yeah, he decides who who becomes centerfold. Yeah, he run everything. Really? He really worked. Stupid ass dog barking out there. <laughs> I was like, what but the even fuck? even at 80 years old, he still like controlled. He controlled everything. Yeah, regarding the Damn. the pictorial. That's crazy. And um, yeah, yeah, and then after I got, so they were on the phone. And, does he like it? Does he agree and everything? And once they said, yeah, he ate it, then it was through. And they said, okay, you are, you will be a playmate. 
So the test American, shoot, um, play, play, Playboy America. Exactly. This is something else because in Germany, like you're a playmate, you have some appearances here and there, but that's it. In the U.S., you were like a little celebrity. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say it's it's way it should be. I would think it would be way different in America when you do Playboy because it's you so know, big. And it's so big. Yeah. And it's so it's a it's the same with a lot of shit because the market is so small here in Germany and especially here in Germany, it, like majority of people are like a little conservative too. So yeah, they don't they don't care. I mean, I I never knew who's the playmate of the month. They were people. Yeah, nobody really. There know who. Yeah, is yeah, of course. Who and you yeah. know, of course, there are more famous playmates than the others, but mm. still, if you say you're a playmate, they're like, oh my god, really? Oh. Yeah, 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 of course. But you, so you eventually made it on the cover of a of a magazine no. in America or just over here? No, it was. Um, I made it on the cover, but in October. Then I was Miss April two thousand and seven. This was an American US. cover or a German cover? It was an American cover in in October. In October, but, um, I think they I wanted have, they wanted to make me to me put see. me on the May. Co- is that is this it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> You're prepared. I'm prepared a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so I was supposed to be on the cover in in May, but then they realized that I was not 21 yet. And since they're um, advertising alcohol in it, they oh, couldn't put me. Yeah, uh, I was 20 when I arri- arrived there. And I didn't think about it because in Germany, you're yeah, with 18, you you're can drink and all that. Exactly, you can lifestyle. do everything. Hmm. And uh, so I wasn't even allowed to work in Vegas, but I wanted to work in Vegas because I heard that it is so much fun and everything. So I was illegally in Vegas. <laughs> oh, doing so you what? you have to get a fake or you just like, I'm a, I'm a playmate. And they're just like, mm. I bet. But who, you got a playmate who's, card? Yeah, who's looking at your ID if uh, you're a especially playmate? Especially like women. Yeah, if you're a playmate and a, you're a woman, you're there. already a woman and they can uh, get in anywhere without ID. Yeah, and then you're true. a playmate on top of that? Yeah, that's true. You might well fly in with a goddamn helicopter and just yeah. just <laughs> just land on top of the building and walk in and shit. Especially in Vegas because I would assume that playmates like run the town in In, in Vegas, Vegas it was like um home number 2 because okay. they had this Playboy um how did they call it? They had like another it Playboy was like house. A villa. No, no, it was not a house. It was in the um like the another palms. location that y'all would like in meet up palms, at. In the Palms he owned one Another mansion? One, or? Yeah, no, it was it was just a, a room, but like... Like a big studio it, apartment. Like a, su- a suite. Okay. Oh, a okay. huge suite. Okay. Was cool. there like a particular area like you walk, like if you're walking in the hallways and it's like big, like a big ass door, this is like Hugh Hefner's room or something, like, you know, like, or is it like... You, you mean know in the where mansion? Yeah. In the mansion. Yeah, like, there's bedroom number one that's his. Oh, oh you yeah. could like walk past it and he's like, could possibly be in the room. Um, yeah, but you never go there to knock. I mean, uh, I, it was like I, a I didn't rule? have the guts. It was a rule not to I, knock? I never <laughs> knocked at his door. Like, what for? Yeah, you don't Actually. want to dis- disturb But him. does he have, like, a sign that says, like, do not disturb? No. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he has people I'm in here smacking some cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he has people who tell you don't, do not disturb. Like, uh, if okay. He has people, like, guards at the door? No, not at the door. <laughs> but if, say, you, oh, if you want to talk to Hef, you have to tell his secretary. You got to okay, go so through people. Like, what do you want? He's like, he's like head honcho in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you imagine you stand at the ho- at the fucking the mansion and they and you walk and knock on his door, <laughs> and then you probably get kicked out immediately. Like you probably like have to <laughs> get threw out like jazz on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's like how you how you open the taxi door today, boy. <laughs> Can't do that out here in Germany, but yeah. That's a fact. Like, yeah, I, you wouldn't do that. No. Nah. Damn, that's crazy. So, how long did you end up staying there? So, I went back and forth for two we- two years. Two years, okay. Yeah. So, you would stay as long as like your visa would allow or something um, like that. Yeah, yeah. I took care of everything, and after a while, he asked me if I want to move into the bunny house. Okay. The bunny house is a was a house across the street, and the playmates um, who are allowed to to stay can can be there it's yeah it's like a dorm (laughs) okay okay and like everything is paid for you while you're there yeah so if you if you live in the bunny house it's just the house that you know that there's a maid uh one or twice a week you have your own room yeah i had my room but i share it i shared it with somebody else and i'm so happy because the code was one two three four 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and okay. so everyone could enter it. And I was freaked out by people just entering the house, uh, knowing that playmates live there. Because okay. mm. security was at the mansion across the street, but not at the playmate house. They didn't have no security for they you? Had just, they had just this little camera. Could you hold a gun? And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have you a gun. You in the U.S. You in the U.S. They shit. said in a documentary <laughs> that like once you once the playmates left the mansion, it was it was no protection or something like that. Yeah, sure. I mean, when you are around with him or the girlfriends, there yeah. are always secure. There is always security, but you are f- free person. I mean, yeah. I mean, he couldn't like get all y'all security. guarded security no, yeah. all the time. You don't need it. I mean, you know. So like, I mean, some of y'all didn't need it. But so when you were like chilling, like when you were living there and shit, like, are, were you allowed to like go out? Like, you still go to the club and shit. Sometimes they I have did. a club in there. Oh no, no, <laughs> in no, the house. no! They have parties. Yeah, I'm gonna say On they the have weekends, parties, right? They usually have parties, like MTV parties or whatever. Uh, in the good. grotto. Um. Yeah. Everywhere. You know what the grotto is, right? It's like the legendary pool area yeah. from the Playboy it's Mansion. Like it would have like grotto. waterfalls. I'm and not like so into. I was never like into like Playboy. I never. I, mean, I was never I just, like. I just into. looked at. I knew what it was, but I, yeah, I, I don't yeah, know yeah. like. That's why yeah. I'm so amazed. To but talk that's what—that's why they had all the parties, and that's where they yeah. had most of the parties, right? Yeah, exactly. So, let's get into some harder hitting questions, oh, okay? Jesus. So, uh, before we even get to the documentary and stuff, like this, is the Playboy Mansion we're talking about, mm-hmm. right? So, how much, like? <laughs> how much sex stuff went on like how did like was it like orgies and like yeah, if you I, comfortable with talking about any of it i'm fine but was it like as soon as you got there you you feel like the sexual energy in the air and like it's just like crazy shit going on all the time or y'all just chilling most of the time or just <laughs> tell me yeah, because I wouldn't. I'm like genuinely curious about exactly, and I the experience. I absolutely know. Like when I think of Playboy, I, you know, I don't think like you know. I think like if you're in the mansion, like how you doing is fucking fucking and doing snorting coke and like you know smoking weed and that's just my. I know, and that's the thing. Like I don't want to. You know, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just saying like that's just my stereotype of the Playboy. You know, you know the man. I think so. anyone would assume stuff like that. Yeah, was me going too. On. So I was afraid when oh, I. Oh yeah, I mean she did say came that. There. <laughs> yeah, you was afraid, but I want to know: Did your fears come to pass? <laughs> you know was it real? Did it happen? Like, <laughs> yeah. Give us the real, real on it. Okay, so um, sometimes I didn't see people for a whole day there. I just saw the maids and um, the butlers, and I basically stayed in the kitchen all the time because there were people I could talk to. Oh, okay. And um, I was chilling all the time. I gained weight. Really? Because I could eat whatever I wanted. They probably didn't like that. (laughs) And nobody cared. Really? Of course, because if I gain weight and I don't get jobs, it's my... Yeah, it's your fault. You know. They have uh, a girl every month, so... Who's caring about me? But that's what I was. I I just said that because I I noticed in the documentary that one of the people that was talking was like it was like strict like weight rules and shit at, at a certain point and like if you so, went over a pound you would get like punished or something. Yeah, shit it's like the that. Playboy bunny in the clubs probably back in the days. Okay, when you know when we were the bunnies at the Playboy clubs. Okay, okay. Um, okay. but I was a bunny as well, and they had my I had a costume that was um, tailored for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I gained a little bit, but not. Um, you didn't get fat. Yeah. Not to where you couldn't fit in that motherfucker. Exactly. Okay. So it was just important to me to fit into that and feel comfortable somehow. Gotcha. Um, so. I met people there, so on Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays there were movie night and his friends came over or some celebrities or, like, it was really cool. So you met a lot of celebrities, a lot of famous people? Um, There were, when I was there, I mean, he was 80, so his friends were around that age, uh, too. Okay. It's a bunch of old people coming So up. it was like, like... Drake and shit coming to me. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, like, uh, Drake 
was he? Oh, uh, nah, wasn't he, he underage? Nah, I don't think <laughs> he was even hot back know, then. Know, you know what I mean? Like I thought, like, like somebody Wayne like him, some shit, like you know, coming Did in that bitch. So like, what's some? What's an old celebrity that you met then? Who's who's? If so, you, if you can say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, I save that for the next post. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, give kidding. it to us now. <laughs> um, mm, I. I met like people that I didn't know the name, but I saw in some, uh, some TV mo- shows oh, or okay. something. Okay. Uh, I met Thora Birch, who was Thora the. Thora Birch. Um, he played um, in American Beauty. She was the daughter. I don't think and I saw she, American she Beauty. She did a lot of 90s movies. So I, okay. I knew she her. She's old. It's like Samuel no, she, Jackson. She has, my, she has my age. Oh, around okay. my age. It was like Samuel Jackson or somebody. No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I'm thinking like Samuel Jackson <laughs> and her cousin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, we. Well, I met Pamela Anderson there and I was. Okay. 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 She was so hot. Like, really? Yeah. I told a friend that um, she came in and she was really hot. Like, I saw her on TV and. I didn't feel like she was super attractive, but she was. Hmm. And I told my friend, and that bitch told her that I said she was hot, and I was so embarrassed about it. And this it. is when the orgy happened. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, come into this exactly. room. Exactly. <laughs> come into this room. <laughs> <laughs> room number three. <laughs> no, um, and she told her and was so embarrassed, and she and she said, oh, you, I, I heard that you, you think I'm hot, and I... Like a little child, I just um, hid under under the table, and she said, "You hid under the table." Yeah, like a little child. <laughs> and and she came under the table and said, "How am I supposed to make out with you if you come? If oh. You're not coming under the table. Mm. Like what?" <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Okay, so that's then cool. y'all made out. Yeah, no, we did not. It what? was yeah, it was, was all teasing? like this is like yeah, she was teasing. <clears throat> oh, Everything okay. was I. Actually, never had a bad experience there. Never had a bad no. experience. Did you ever hear of any bad experience? I did after I watched <laughs> the documentary. Oh, yeah, the documentary. I was shocked. <laughs> so you didn't, like, you, you didn't see nothing, like, anything that is, was in the documentary that was negative. You didn't see any of that. No. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I was watching the documentary. <coughs> and I'm not saying that this is not happening. No, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to say that it didn't happen. But if you watch the documentary, it seemed like a lot of like a lot of bullshit. Like it's a lot of that was your impression. A lot of it, especially like I, like I said, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched like four or five episodes, okay. and I think the second episode, his main girlfriend was doing most of the talking. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just seemed like she was trying to blame him. For a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that was her fault, like she was a grown ass woman who pursued him. Because you probably didn't watch the episode, but she, what's her name? Hall is it? No, um, the first girlfriend was Sandra Theodore. S- was that the main one that was talking in the episode though? I'm talking about the the younger one, not the one that's oh, old in the documentary. Oh, okay, Holly. Yeah, the one he had you the three Holly. girlfriends oh, yeah, that were yeah, on the girls was my, next door. That my um, era. <laughs> okay. So she was talking and she Holly. was she was saying like, um, I would play a clip, but it's A&E and I don't want no copyright shit. Mm-hmm. But she was saying that she pursued him. You know, she she had a long little story, but she was like, she was she grew up a little retarded. She grew up with Asperger's syndrome and mm-hmm. she felt like, she uh, was kind of attention, like she needed some different type of attention or something, mm-hmm. and she was kind of drawn to the spotlight or something. And some I can't remember exactly. I don't remember everything, but she ended up wanting to be a playmate, and she she was like, she's gonna. She went after Hugh Hefner and asked, like she pre- she asked to be a playmate, and yeah, she yeah. asked. I don't even think she asked to be a playmate. She asked to be his girlfriend. She skipped past playmate and went straight to asking to be his girlfriend and stuff. And I think at the time he had like 12 girlfriends or something Mm -hmm. that he would take to. Okay. Well, (laughs) 12, seven, it's not much of a shit. He had a lot of women on Uh his arm at the time and he was old at this point too, wasn't he? Yeah. So I, I don't know how long she was there when I met her. Um, did she seem unhappy when you met her? 
she was super private about herself. Okay. Like she's she's a very nice person, but she was always very private. She okay. was very classy and um, an introvert. Okay, okay. Absolutely okay. introvert. Because let her tell it, she was like, she was playing the part, but like she was hating it the whole time. Yeah, like she, she said, hated the other girlfriends. She said that she, was, she had the Stockholm Syndrome. You know what Stockholm syndrome is? It's like a I hostage when a hostage falls in love with their cap with their captor. Yeah, that, from that's like nah, nah, what that's she said. I mean, everyone um, told up after her book because she wrote a book. Uh, she mentioned me in there. <laughs> she mentioned you in the book when she said something nice. I hope. Yeah, she just said uh, she really mentioned me, um, just um, saying that uh, yeah, my friend from from Germany. Uh, came over and we had um, we had some fun mm -hmm. and um, that that that's it. Like she said that she also had good times there. Mm -hmm. So she described that um, friends from all over came over. Yeah, she acted like it was such a horrible experience. You know what I'm saying? But it's a it's a exp it's a it's something that she got herself into into, and she could. I feel like she could have left at any point. You know, she she asked for everything that ended up like happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, can you I, say I that? Know. Can you say that though? Like, I'm not trying to get it off the topic, but like, okay. just off that, I just want to know, like, on the R. Kelly thing, it, like, do you feel like some of the women were like that too? Like, they 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 put themselves into this <clears throat> lifestyle. Nah, that's a whole. Or is that different? You feel like that's a little different? They were underage, huh? Yeah, they would. It would be it would be more on their parents though, because their yeah. parents would take their kids to our kids. I'm not talking about the underage people. There were some women on there that was also of age. And well, if you of age, you can yeah. you ain't got nothing to worry about with R. Kelly. He's not gonna touch you. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm just wondering. Yeah, yeah, too yeah, old. He, yeah, he's 18, too old. Too old. Yeah, grandma to him. Okay. But uh, yeah, because just in it, when she was talking, it just seemed like she was she was complaining about about nothing. To me, because nothing really ever happened to her. Okay, you didn't like being with a man who had other women. But Leave, you know. Chose that. Yeah, okay, you, you. That was not a secret. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you don't, and you knew that when you went and asked to be one yeah. of his girlfriends. Okay, you don't like the orgies after y'all come home from parties and shit. But you still don't participate don't, in the orgies, yeah, yeah, exactly. you know. And she, but she was getting herself drunk. So she could participate, cope but yeah, like cope how? But okay, so you said that she was blaming, but how? What? Where's the blame? Like, did she? Did he ever like, like, make her do these things? Like, anything? well, she said that he was pretty controlling, and he would give because he was like she was like the main girlfriend, uh -huh. and so he would give her cur curfews. She couldn't go out with the other girlfriends and stuff. She, he, he had different standards for her. She like, like pimping she her type shit. He wasn't really pimping her because it was his girlfriend, you know. Okay. And he, she living in his house, you know. She getting the fame and the and the, and the, the other girlfriends lived there too. Yeah, the she was the only one who was sharing the bedroom with him. Oh, she yeah. had to sleep in the bedroom. The with The other him. girlfriends had their own room. Yeah, because uh, she was the main she one. She was the main one, so you know. Yeah. What the fuck she complaining about? Well, she felt like <laughs> she felt like. One, for one, she, she didn't want to have sex with him. She just felt like he was old and gross, didn't want to touch him, you know. She didn't like the fact that she had to share him. But at the same time, she didn't like the fact that she had to share him with other women and shit, okay. you know. She, uh, what's, what, what else did she complain about? Um, she said that um, he was uh, getting her drugs and to the spread leggers. Oh, oh, the... Um, the leg spreaders. The quaaludes. <laughs> the, yeah. Oh. yeah. Leg spreaders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, spread leggers. The, 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 the... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And stuff the like that. same thing Bill Cosby was using. Mm -hmm. But it was yeah. in that... It was in that... that era. In that era. Well, not when he was with her, but he was was still using them from that era okay. when people was popping Because that's the time them. period. I get it. Yeah. But she was taking them, though. He wasn't, like, sneaking them to her. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is yeah. he? Is she? Is, was he? He like was giving her every to chance to, to say, say no, no like, and to leave, which she eventually so did. Every time I heard someone in that documentary, it was like, um, "So I took the pill, and I didn't know what it was." Bitch, you I can't took ask the pill and drink alcohol with it. But then I was like, 
I didn't know what I did, why I did it. And I'm like, whose fault is that? Like, okay, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about fault or not fault. Okay. I but they trying to blame it on him. Like yeah, it's his fault true. though. So what I saw and most of the women was, I'm not saying that's not true. Yeah, yeah of course. I'm not blaming, you, but blaming something on someone and initial, initially you are there. That's the Playboy Mansion. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. A, as I thought, do I have to sleep with him? Because I don't want to sleep with him. Mm -hmm. If that's the price of being a playmate, I knew that in Germany, it's not the case. And you would have just Well, I heard like, some yeah, things. You, you I heard some things about German Playboy, too. Do it. But we ain't even going to talk about that. <laughs> so, actually, I didn't I have to, have to sleep with no one this. just to be a playmate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... That was my point. I asked before my friend because I didn't want to be rude. I mm -hmm. knew that Playboy is existing since forever for me. But even though you heard that your fears weren't true when you went there, you were still kind of nervous about it. You know I what was, I'm yeah, I was. But my but you knew the whole time that okay, I didn't got myself into this shit now. So when it comes, like you said, I'll be I ready to no, box somebody. You. Yeah. you know. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. And thank I you, Barno. Thank you. Yeah, and I feel I feel like the documentary is fucked up because for one thing, the man is dead. You know what I'm saying? Why they didn't try to come out with this shit while he was alive and could could uh defend himself. I think it's about mainly to money. all the so allegations my, and stuff. I don't know. Like my feeling is um that they are trying to cope with things that they um regret. <coughs> Choices that they made. Yeah, that they it, made and, and maybe they blame. agreed to. Yeah. Sometimes, maybe not all the time, especially back in the days, like women didn't have a lot to say. Yeah, yeah. Course. But still, for that time, I feel like he was always really. I don't know. So my impression was that he always was someone that was ahead of time and supported women. Of course, now if you look back. Of what happened back then, yeah, it's not normal. It wouldn't fit in our times yeah, exactly. right now. Exactly. But there, it, back in that days, he had executive women and stuff like that. Like that was re really ahead of time. Yeah, and he helped. Also, the the race thing. Yeah, like he really he included everyone. And he helped women, like, find power in their sexuality and stuff. You yeah, know what exactly. I'm saying? He exactly. he was a big proponent of like, like women's rights and like women being able to you know play on the same fields as as men and shit like that that was you know my impression saying? actually um, yeah i think I, I agree with like what, what she said like i feel like maybe now that he's gone you know um the people who are really close to him or you know that dealt with him all the time maybe they just they're they're getting older and they're just regretting some of the things you know but they're trying to tarnish this man's name okay they can regret what they did, but don't don't try to put all the fucking all the blame on the, on the old man that can't even defend like that. That's how Oprah but tried to do Michael Jackson and but stuff. Like like that's like uh like like I said like big regret though. Like that's like regret that they're they're able they're you know they'll take that risk like you know just for them to feel good to tarnish. I know I know. But again, well, that's what's fucked up about and it. Again you know? again I'm not gonna sit here um because you know. I'm not gonna sit here and talk and say because I don't know. Like maybe <coughs> these women really, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's nothing they said hard. didn't happen. Yeah. yeah, me neither. But they can't just put it all on Hef. Like he was just they trying to they tried to kind of paint him as a monster. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Of course. Like it's like it, the the thing about history, right? Like even today, you can read a history book. You know what I'm saying? But that's. That's history being told through the lens of whoever wrote that shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Course. And if you ask somebody else, they might have a whole nother description of what happened. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I think that's 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 what happens in these like these targeted documentaries who that's like out to find bad things about whoever, yeah. whatever figurehead they trying to tear down because especially like somebody that big, you can you can find a handful of people to sit down. And say fucked up shit about him, you know what I'm saying? And you put it in a, put it in this grandiose documentary, and put it on Netflix or whatever. I think, and I so th many people watch it. It's gonna change the, the opinion, perceptions the and shit that they left because you know, like history. Like I said, it's just 
you know, who, depending on who eyes is told from, it could be this or it could be that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for example, like um, in 2017, he died. Yeah. And and in 18, there was this huge, um, I mean, not huge, but it was like a picnic. It was like, you know, a reunion. Um, one year after, um, not after he died, but when it was his birthday and it was organized by the butlers that worked for him. Okay. Like people who were like in, you know, they were not in the spotlight or whatever. It was not in the press. They just, um, reunited people who were there and loved him and friends were there. His son was there it was not publicly or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm still connected to the, these people through Facebook and mm-hmm. Instagram and stuff. And they invited me and I ended up going there because I felt like first I needed a trip for myself. Yeah. And um, and then I met all these people again. It was so cool. And it was not a publicity thing, not a marketing thing. He was gone. They were just celebrating him. And there were people who worked for him for over 20 years or something. Yeah. And I met so many people that were grateful for this opportunity because he was very generous and yeah. everything. He was super generous to me when I was there. Um, I was all by myself and uh, my mom wanted to come for my birthday because we were never separated for my birthday. And she came for three weeks. And um, I worked for this really cool rich lady Mm -hmm. and i asked her if my mom can stay at her house um so she doesn't have to be in a hotel room all by herself and uh, because i was staying at the mansion and she said yeah sure you can you can bring her and mary the um, secretary of have she said so isn't your mom coming i said yeah where is she staying i said at a friend's house and she said you have friends here said yeah um who is this lady? Do you know her? I said, well, I worked for her and she was very nice. And you're asking people you just worked for instead of asking us if she can stay with us. Mm. And I said, well, I didn't know that was an option. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they were And she said, so let me talk to Hef. So she called him and I I heard him through the phone saying, yeah, sure, she can stay. The CEO. It was my mom. Like, yeah. If he do was really trying to hide something, do you think my mom something? would would stay there with yeah. me and watching me having all these orgies and <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. but you never you never answered po- yeah you're you right. never <laughs> answered the question. Now that you're bringing it back up, let's let's get into it. <laughs> so, um, my mom is an Italian woman. Okay. Okay. She would never, never, ever find that good if I would have orgies or whatever there. I mean, my mama didn't wouldn't like a lot of things that she don't know about <laughs> my life, <laughs> but well, it don't stop me from doing them sometimes. No, my mom was there. We went we went to the grotto every night because we were the only people there. Okay. There were no parties, of course. Because um, he's eighty at him. this point. Okay. He he was not there. He was not in the grotto. Oh, but he was in the house. Yeah, he, he was living his life somewhere upstairs in his pajamas. And in pajamas and my this. mom and I were just celebrating in the jacuzzi with a oh, cocktail and okay, okay. <laughs> living our best life. <laughs> <laughs> and like this is generosity because I I worked for him anyway. Like yeah, yeah, he could have just don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Course. So you're saying like you you're back in the fact that you feel as though he was actually genuinely like a, a genuine guy. Like Yeah. Even, okay. And th- also in the um, in the documentary, I saw that they were freaked out because he kisses everyone on the mouth, and you mm. know, and it's this kind of um, open mouth, weird guy, creepy. He was French thing. kissing people in the mouth. Actually, it never happened to me because when he approached, and I saw everyone kissing him on the mouth, and mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just turned my cheek and he kissed my cheek every time. He was so you're 80, saying that even so with the kiss, they're 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 the ones doing the kiss too. I mean So you they, can turn your cheek on. He him, tries. Right? Probably he tries because he's um he's used to I mean that's an old man thing to do though, you know, like old man like 
I always, they'll fucking, they'll I kiss always, you if you don't, if uh, you don't like watch just, out. Yeah. 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 I was just hugged him and said, hi, Hef, and I got, I got the, <coughs> this um, kiss on the cheek, and that's it. So I never kissed him on his mouth. Okay. And he never asked me to, and he never, I never had the impression that he wanted me to. He All right, was but did you, so, like, you know, I'm not trying to cut you off, but, like, did you, like, he, you, you, you never saw anything, like, wrong there, like, or like, okay, did you see anything? I just want to know if you saw. What was the craziest shit, shit that, you that, see? that happened that was, when you was there? I guess that was. It's got to be one crazy. Okay, my mom told positive. me that she saw people fucking in the grotto, and I said, "When? I never saw people. You there. never saw people fucking. No, because there was also a security, and it was like I, I was pretty private back then, <laughs> and I was freaked out if someone would watch me doing something intimate. Okay. There. Um, my mom said, "Yeah, she saw people." But she was like, so what? Like, there, it was... Because she was like, this is the Playboy Mansion. Yeah. So. And th that's a security because... Mom was trying, probably trying to get some action too when she was <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, she, she might be looking for someone. No, but... Um, <laughs> but, like, there was a security because there were, like, also people get... Um, um, get raped and you know and when there's a party, it's loud and you never know. So, like, you've consensual. been to a party, though. Yeah, sure. And I you, worked there. But you said it was no parties. No, because he was old. He just didn't come to the parties. No, no, no hold on. Talk about when his her mom was there. There was no No, there you, was a party. There was a party. Okay. okay. Just the time that she that she came in that evening there was okay. a party. Okay. And um so on parties um and you you live there. I was there sometimes in my house suit just going there to grab something to eat because they have no time for you making you dinner yeah, if yeah. they have work at the party. So I just went there, get something to eat and mingling or, you know. So like when you're getting your food, like, and there's a big ass party going around. <laughs> like, Yeah, I talk to the people and, and is there if like, I want to. If you're walking past, like, it's not like people just like randomly fucking in the, in the playhouse. <laughs> like, that's what I just want to know. Just no. beside, next to the, fr the like fridge. The fridge, like uh, open the door. You no, know. it's not. It's not a huge. It's like a party where you attend. There's always someone fucking in the uh, in the bathroom or. Oh, so it's like privately. Like yeah, they're, they're I never saw anyone <coughs> just having sex everywhere. So they would, they would like go in, to the room. I thought it was or like animals. Like fuck it, let's fuck it yeah, right no. here. On the Fuck yeah, your fuck it. I'll no. snort coke off your ass right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people, people <laughs> kept asking me, does he sleep with his girlfriends? And I'm like, do you ask your mom if she's fucking your father? Oh, like, this yeah. is something private I don't ask. Oh, uh, okay. Could yeah. you, did you, so you never heard anybody fucking or anything? I, it's yeah. supposed to be like, it was like a thing where the girls wouldn't answer that question if they got asked. Like, people would ask the girls, like, what is, what is, penis looks like oh, and yeah. nobody would answer the question because they would get embarrassed if somebody thought they were sleeping with him because oh. well i don't know how because they because like, nobody sorry. wanted to be that that girl that's yeah. like sleeping with with Hugh. so i know that the girlfriends slept with him yeah they had the orgies and stuff but they even at the even in the him. in his 80s they was i mean you didn't watch the whole series i didn't right? watch the whole series yeah so the one of the last is about the twins that were there after I was there. Okay. So it was over 80. And, and they were still... And they were th they went there to be girlfriends mm -hmm. and were shocked that he wanted to sleep with them. This, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like you go to Hugh Hefner, this 87-year-old man. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. The story is And you wild. surprised when he want to smash your little young ass? And you, but you want everything else though. You want all the attention. The you want allowance. the money. You want the allowance. You want to live in the house. You want to be a playmate. But you ain't trying to. One of them told break him off a piece. <laughs> one of them told you. You should have. You should have watched it. Really, it was it was kind of depressing. Yeah, I, I know. I but the last, <laughs> like, I I really got mad at some point because she okay. was like, yeah, she she um got pregnant from him. Who? <laughs> oh, that's OG. <laughs> one of the twins. I cannot. I don't know. I Did she actually get pregnant from him? I don't know if she was pregnant from him. I wasn't there. At but 87 years oh, old. And damn. them soldiers ain't like, marching no more, man. They uh, not. She <laughs> said she said she took chlamydia from him. She got chlamydia what? from him and that she was That's pregnant. more believable. That's and believable. she and she tried to hide it because she was afraid that um he could end up 
keeping her and the baby oh. and she wanted just to, to be free to be free and like you could here. have you could have left the building mm. anytime you wanted yeah. and the and she was um at the abortion center uh with a good friend of hers a rapper or whatever it was mm -hmm. uh -huh. and because he was such a good nice guy and he was there with her so she doesn't have to be by herself did she like write a book about this or something i have no idea but She, you would think she was freaked out about the baby from Hugh Hefner, which she, could have been millions of will. Yeah, you would, yeah, if she you, was really pregnant yeah, by him, I'm sure think, she would have had that baby. Yeah, happily. I was about to say, you wouldn't you want to have that baby? Yeah, I'd be like, bitch, child support. Hell yeah, <laughs> or child support. Give me his whole estate when, yeah. his, when he died, because I don't think he has kids, does he? Yeah, four. he does. He yeah. has four kids. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, give give me a big his chunk. His son uh, was rent, was running the business. Did they sell the mansion? They yeah, yeah, yeah. They sold it, it when when he was still alive and he could live. Yeah, um, he could still always, live there yeah. and stuff. And then they oh, so the, the mansion's no mansion gone. Anymore. Yeah, unfortunately, they oh, fell so on hard times in the last days. My mom and days. I wrote, wrote our names in the grotto. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> like, so like, is oh, Playboy like shutting down type shit? Playboy is still like an entity, but I don't like. I said it's nothing like it used to be back in the day. Like they were they. They magazine yeah. drove most of their money and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the son uh, didn't, the son's stuff. not gonna like pick up from it. <laughs> he can't do. What he gonna do? Do the same thing. I thought. I thought like. I mean, magazines are dead. You know. Yeah, and but they still have digital and shit. But like you that. can look at ass on the internet for free ninety nine. Nigga, like you don't need <laughs> you don't need no money to look That's up true. look at no ass. That's true. You just scroll through Instagram and get and get yourself off if you need to. That's, That's crazy. True. You don't need to look at no classy ass pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy though, bro. I, that's, yeah, I didn't know the mansion shut down and shit. I ain't, I ain't know that. Yeah, they they was on hard times in past them past few years, and people trying to shut, trying to cancel him the whole time. I mean, even in even in his death, they trying well, to get him I out of there, here. When I was there, I I asked what happens to the mansion <clears throat> if he's not there anymore, and everyone said it will be a museum. Oh, so whoever bought it is gonna turn it into like a no, like a sex museum just, or something? No, no, it just was turned down and oh, okay. built something else. Oh, he tore it down. Yeah. What a fucking asshole! He got rid of got rid of the evidence. <laughs> Man, that's like a that's like a like a landmark almost. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Damn, he could have made money off that for for years to come. Mm -hmm. But it was probably a lot of fucking cum stains on everything up in there, though. Maybe you got pregnant just sitting somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> That's what I would think. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I asked if I, if I go into the grotto, I will have, like, five babies. <laughs> 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 Shit. But That's did they keep it clean, the grotto and stuff? I saw it was clean. People were saying, oh, I'm grossed out about it. And I was like, oh, my God, it's a hot tub. <laughs> you was in that shit, diving in that bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but in a hot tub, you put, like, fucking... Chlorine in it, yeah. Yeah. Like, so, you know, that shit, you know right? I wasn't thinking about all these things because I was just grateful to be there, and yeah, I like, had the time of my I'm life. I'm at the motherfucking place. You swim, man. swim in the grotto? Hell yeah, I swim in the grotto. Oh, you swim with your mouth open, get some water. In your mouth. Nah, I never put, <laughs> I never put my head underwater. Anyway, I don't like that shit. You know how you when you come up out of the yeah, water, it be all in your eyes and shit. I hate yeah. that. And I and can't it's like fish sperm you fuck around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck around. You fuck around, get pink eye coming out that bitch. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and I like, can't swim anyway, so I only stay in water that I can stand up in. Nah, but that's that that experience is crazy. Playboy Mansion, like holy shit. It was like, super cool. I loved every minute. I always there. wanted to visit the Playboy Mansion one day, but I guess that dream will never <laughs> happen. Probably. Maybe in maybe they have a metaverse Playboy Mansion that you can visit with the, the goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy though yeah but i just i just think it's fucked up how they're trying to like change history with these documentaries i don't like, know if they are changing it i think it's really a point they're of tarnishing view it of course putting I, i'm a big not old saying shit it's not it up didn't it. happen or something but um Maybe it's like you have a uh, point of rapist. view <laughs> like someone who was I don't know i was cautious about it because i didn't know i was you know mm -hmm. i was afraid Something could happen. I knew that I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. So I was ready to jump out of this anytime. I don't know how it is if you need the money or whatever your motivation is. Oh, yeah. To do the sure. documentary yeah. or what? No. Not just in general to living stay there. there. Oh, okay. To, okay. You know, to go Because, you know, to people will do Hefners anything for the bread, you know? like I have no idea. Like, you have to know 
how far you go or whatever but please don't be surprised if you knock on his door and he's like you know you want a pill oh yeah sure <laughs> why yeah, not yeah like don't be is it idiot. the matrix pill cool yeah. Yeah. like the what the hell are you pill? expecting if you are taking drugs and you know and like hold <laughs> yourself accountable don't act like you didn't know what the fuck was going on like okay, 30 they, they years they were young to, they, they were young also but it's in the case of his main girlfriend like she went there knowing she knew everything that was was happening but she still feels the need to this day to complain about everything that was going on yeah so i understand the people <coughs> who lived back in the days that they had no internet and anything yeah but if you go there around uh, 2000 or whatever with all the internet and all the information and not knowing that you hefner is a playboy that fucks a lot of people <laughs> a lot of women then i don't know you're just not are you well surprised? And the and you acting like you all traumatized by it and you shit? Know, you know what the twins said? What they were that? like, yeah, we were 19. We never saw uh, a contract and we just signed it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So whose fault is it's that? Like the excitement <laughs> of fault. being a playmate got the best of them. Maybe. Yeah, but they try to be like, yeah, Powell, he, said he was so powerful. So I had no control over my actions and stuff yeah. like that. And then first they say uh, they were totally controlled. And then they said... No one watched after us. Exactly. Like they were like, "Oh, we were so protected in the mansion, but as soon as we left the mansion, there was no protection for us." Yeah, or we were totally controlled. Yeah, but no one took care of us. So wh what's the version now? <coughs> that's, like, what I'm, that's why it was some bullshit to me. It was just a whole bunch of blah blah I'm blah. I'm not saying it's bullshit, but you know, I'm saying like it's, <laughs> it, it's difficult. It's very difficult because some of them are really traumatized. They can be traumatized in this day version of this the situations that happened way back when, but I'm just it didn't from what I saw from the documentary, it wasn't too much that they could really blame Hugh Hefner for, you know? It was all their choice type shit. They, he they was not a saint. N of not course, nobody's and a he saint. Probably also did things that he shouldn't have done, like every one of us. And you know, he was Hugh Hefner, of course he was playing with his power. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Can you pull your arm back a little bit? There, cause it's like, but yeah. I, I'm, I don't know. Like, um, maybe this documentary is good for them to digest everything. Yeah, come at or peace or something. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's good for them. Come that. at peace at the expense of a man's legacy. Yeah. I don't fuck with that. It's the world we live in. It's like these. Yeah, like I've seen these documentaries. And some of them I can get behind, like a R. Kelly or some shit. Cause I couldn't get behind the Michael. Because it's obvious that he did that shit. You know what I'm saying? He he's on video doing this shit. He got songs. Pipe Piper talking about or Bill Cosby, <laughs> or Bill. Well, the Bill Cosby thing. The, only, the the thing that convinces me with the Bill Cosby thing is the number of women. You know, it's sixty yeah. women. Yeah. It's still a little wishy washy for yeah, me because. For me too. If you come out 40, 50 years later telling your story, you know, it's like, I'm not saying I don't believe them, but it's just like, why wait that long? You wait because back in the days, um, women were not heard. Okay, I understand sure. that part, mm -hmm. you know, and you didn't know it was wrong because you can you could see everywhere, like just pamphlets where where it says how a woman had to had to behave. Now we are we are laughing about it. Mm -hmm. Back in the days it was normal. Then they saw all the movement and everything and yeah, they were like, okay, so actually I feel bad about this. Yeah, yeah. No, so no, you come I out after a while and just want to talk your heart out. I can understand that part. Mm -hmm. And um so as you said, it was the number of of women. In the first um series in the first episodes i was like okay they are talking about a lot of men who in the mansion or in the playboy parties or whatever uh, raped someone okay but a club or the owner is not responsible for the guests who exactly. are staying there or whatever exactly and then there were some that say that um have raped them as well but it was like you know, I like I took that. the pill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was you should have asked. You <laughs> should have like something that they did. Like you know, it's just like like you said, regret. Like I think they just 
and un- <laughs> unhappy with some of the choices that they made yeah, exactly. yeah. and they want that. somebody to blame yeah. you know like that's that's how i look at it like yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying but like you said it, it's like at the the fact that it's like tarnishing his legacy because you know like you said all the things that he did do that was positive mm-hmm. like for women and their sexuality and stuff like that so like i don't know it's kind of like takes that away you know but that's just yeah. how things are like when it comes down to you know but i think in his case it didn't really didn't really work because you don't hear too many people talking about the documentary and shit maybe because it was on a and e and not on like once it makes it to netflix you have to out of here. No, he, it, he f- it was really controversial in the U.S. It was. Yeah. I heard a little we inkling about, about it, but I it didn't really but like. Maybe people feel like how we feel, like you know. Maybe that's why it wasn't so. Yeah, it wasn't so. It wasn't maybe you know because like you said, I R. Kelly thing. Like I don't know. Like I got I could get behind that. Like you know, it just made sense. Yeah, it made sense. You know, but like from what I'm hearing, this doesn't really. Like you said, it, the situations are different. You know, I it's just like. It's like with Will Smith, you know, yeah. people are so outraged at him stepping out of character and slapping the shit out of Chris Rock like he did, because normally he's not that guy. You know, he's fucking jolly, happy Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's why it's such a fucking like a, a jolt to your system, yeah. like of hearing about him doing shit like that. And that's why it blew up over the whole world. But Hef already associated with like, you know, nudity and yeah party lifestyle and shit like that so it's not so shocking to hear that it might be some crazy shit that happened there some shady stuff yeah Yeah, i know people like okay of course i don't bring myself in such environment if yeah this is not you know what i mean it's like mature it's like maturity you knew what you were you know getting yourself into and i and i i I would say that like (coughs) i understand that they're canceling she was 18 yeah that's what i'm saying i know they're canceling a lot of things but i think nowadays like for you know especially the fact that you know we got daughters and stuff like that you know i'm i think these are you know i'm not going to sit there and say these people are lying or anything because i don't know yeah you know i have my opinion but you know i I really don't know but it's this should be definitely an error for like you know for the parents and younger teens that you know may want to get into this you know this lifestyle to be aware of what they're doing and shit like that it still still gives awareness you know what i mean it is it's um, education. Exactly. And I think uh, you have to protect yourself and, you know, and ha- exactly what you said. You 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 knew that you wasn't willing to take it this far in your career. You yeah. would just get out of there. And you have to understand, I think these young women have to know now that, you know, because there are some creeps out there that will do some shit. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah you, but it's never like someone like Hugh Hefner. Yeah, it's yeah. always the creepy, creepy photographer. Yeah, and, yeah who asks you to shoot topless, <laughs> or you just <laughs> you, know? you just go around in a club and they are grabbing your ass or something. like Oh, that. true that, true that. Exactly. Too. You, you know, know what I mean? You know, if it's if you're working with somebody and you feel some type of way, you just should just be aware to just say to yourself, okay, is this 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 situation is not worth my you know not worth the risk the risk and like for my morals and stuff like that and there's other ways to make money you know what i'm saying like if if it goes that far i'm not saying you know it will but uh, you know just be aware of that shit yeah you, you know? go there and you have like a dream you see all these girls being happy and pretty and you know and there's fame and everything and that smells so good Mm-hmm. And then you're like, okay, so maybe I can get, get, I can go this step, and maybe this step, and this step, and then you look back and said, oh shit, what did I, what did I do? Yeah. Because you never know. I mean, until you do things, you never know how good or bad it is. Yeah, until you, and you don't really know until and you, you end the experience. Yeah, and you you end up regretting it, and you're like, okay, but he should have known that I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah. Like he can read your mind or some shit. That's what that's what they get into in this whole Me Too thing. It's like going from like just straight out like rape, like forcefully raping a, a woman to like taking a picture with a woman and having your having your hand on a hip is like is like considered rape these days. You know so, what I'm saying? I mean, you know, like I'm I'm that um I have that opinion that even if you have your condom on and I back up then you have to respect that because I have like this. So if it's it's already like before, before uh, penetration? penetration or during penetration. 
Like you can before, change, you can change your mind before, like before, like right before. Yeah, I say, you know what, I don't feel like. <laughs> like it. He, he at the door, and you can be like, nah, I changed my yeah, mind. Yeah, but you're you're not. I mean, I hope you're not a person that are like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I oh, now hell, I'm prepared, and then I I go in. Of course not. You know, of course not. Um, yeah, so, that's rape. <laughs> yeah, that's rape. That's rape. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm. But saying. some women but, play the play the the no, but yeah, game. You know, they'd be like, no. Yeah, but not as much as people think they do. But it happens though. It does. If you can but agree to that. But then you have that. a fucking cold word or something. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, but there's a lot of niggas that's like. Bitch, I got the condom where I'm going in. I'm going you know in. I'm right there. You know? I and then they get in I mean, there, and she be like, oh, okay, all right. I understand. <laughs> like, it's it's frustrating if you don't get to, you know. But still, there has to be a consent. Uh, I, yeah, okay. I'm with yeah. that. Yeah, of course, of but course. But if, you, if you've done it, and then you feel bad afterwards, you can feel bad, you can avoid the guy or you whatever. You can't blame him. But don't blame, blame him. him. Yeah. You know, that that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you cannot blame him because the decision was made by you. You but, can't regret it. Okay. But you can blame him, though. Why? Because the courts say you can. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> you shouldn't blame him. But if you wanted to take it to court, you could get him locked up for a long time. I mean, there are some situations, you know, I'm not. You could be like, he didn't know, but I was feeling like this. Exactly. You know, for the, for, look, for the viewers, I'm not, you know, that's how I feel, too. I'm like, okay, you can't. You can't like have sex with somebody, you know, be, like you said, con, you know, consent. And then, you know, because I don't know, maybe the nigga was just ugly or, you know, <laughs> your friends are talking shit like, yeah, Yo, you fucked that. And then, you know, you your parents find out yeah. that you did some shit. And you want to save face. To, yeah, you want to save face. And you're like, well, you know, like at that moment, I kind of didn't want to. Yo, that's fucked. That's, that's fucked, fucked up. up. Well, that, that is not taking responsibility. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just, you know. But the courts will accept that. They'll be like, okay, you because said you was raped because believe all women, even if your story don't well, make no, no I'm not, sense. I'm not saying that you have to. I'm just saying that's women. what this is what they be saying in America, I know, you know. But I understand it's also here. Um, so the problem is that you have also always the weak person, and it depends how it got there. If you are like um, taking away something from them, uh, unless they do it. Yeah, of that's course. also rape. That's also I don't, rape. Of I course. Totally yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, you, what you mean? Like, kind of like with uh, Bill uh, Bill Clinton, like with the, you know, with that situation, like he he, he basically was saying like. Like if you use your power your or power, something? Like to promote, you know, hey, we going we gonna to take away, you know, bitch, you ain't getting, watching TV today. You know, let's, <laughs> you know, let's say TV was. Or like, high, like Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. You're not getting yeah, exactly. in this movie. You're not getting yeah. in the movie so if you don't fuck me on this couch. Yeah. Sex doesn't have anything to do with a fucking acting role. Yeah. So yeah. Wh what's the point of sleeping with porn. someone? <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just had to say that. But yeah, I, but I, get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But getting to the Playboy mansion is like you are in this erotic um, environment and mm. whatever. So I wanted to be, be a playmate. Mm -hmm. Someone told me before that he strictly now in that day because he of course he adapt um he said a playmate cannot be a girlfriend and a girlfriend cannot be a playmate because they approached him to be his girlfriend in order to become a playmate mm. but he in the playmates he sees money yeah because this is what ha has to be sold yeah yeah so you have like the product yeah he sees something in the girls that make them playmates mm -hmm. so if you are someone who wants to fuck me, then it doesn't uh, doesn't mean that I I like you. I find you sexy for one night or whatever. Yeah. But you're not playmate material, mm. and that's why he made up this rule that if, if you're you a playmate, are, exactly. then you can't you can't be a girlfriend. And I remember that the the girlfriends were not in the in the Playboy magazine. Yeah, I, I, she said something about that in the and documentary. I knew <laughs> from some of them that they really dreamt of being a playmate since forever. Yeah. So it kind of like, you know, it's for me, it's like a contract, even if it's not written, that you are staying in that environment with the hope that you get into whatever. And if you are over age and no one really hold you back to just say, okay, I'm out of here and mm -hmm. I just, you know, go to college or do yeah, something yeah. else. And when I hear like, yeah, but the money and I needed the money and 
okay, what are you? Like, there are other jobs that you can do. Of course, it's not as it much. It wasn't just the money. It was the it was the fame of it. It was living in the house. It really it smelled tasty. What what it means being a playmate or whatever. It's really cool. But that what I was asking, do I have to sleep with him? Because in Germany, it's like just uh, a franchise thing. Yeah, but yeah. in the US, it's like all this, it was all the world, playboy world. And around him, of course, he probably doesn't have sex anymore so much. Well, he's dead now. But um, now, <laughs> but back in the <laughs> oh, days. Oh, even when you was there. Yeah. He w I, but then. That motherfucker there, must have been popping Viagra's like like no and tomorrow this girl was was pregnant from him and she she was sh she said and she was after after my time so yeah can do you do can you get a woman pregnant at that age shit i don't know, I know I don't men know. i got i know women got a clock that ends at like 40 something but well i know good friends of him and they said um i'm curious of who got her pregnant because he was shooting just air <laughs> that, shit, that shit was like right, I'm tapped out That I'm motherfucker dick was like a Looney Tunes uh, cartoon <laughs> like, <laughs> like You know Like He couldn't Spin even dust and, in air And do you think like a Hugh Hefner As smart and as he was Wouldn't have unprotected sex With some random girlfriend I mean if I'm 86 And my things still work I ain't wearing no fucking condom I ain't What the <laughs> fuck I'm What the fuck I'm holding out for <laughs> If I can't, if I catch AIDS, like I probably got a few years left anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to feel some skin. I ain't wearing a motherfucking, I ain't wearing a motherfucking condom. Yeah, but you don't think he <laughs> he will take like some kind of protection anyway? Not or at eighty something years old. Or her He's like, or whatever. Fuck it. Like, fuck it. I'm, I'm just glad this thing still works. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he but has I four kids. <laughs> he should have had more if he wouldn't think of that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, he was too smart. But again, I can believe the maybe the the, the cl you said chlamydia. She said, yeah. I I can believe that more than the, the baby. Yeah. <clears throat> and if she was pregnant, then why didn't she keep it? Because she would probably never have to work again. You know, baby would have came out forty years old. I don't know. It just <laughs> sounds. <laughs> <laughs> baby would have came out with Stockholm syndrome forty years old. But um. <laughs> Okay, I want to get off. I want to get off of that though. Um, but I do want you to answer the one question that <laughs> Which, I asked. I didn't have sex what's the there. Cra what's the craziest oh. shit that happened, or the craziest stuff you saw? And then we're gonna go to some other topics. So we're gonna take a break. And be and honest. Yeah, be this honest. This is the quote goes podcast. We are all honest. On I it. don't know. It was like really. It was comfortable there, and he said it was my second home. I can go go there wherever, whenever I want, and. So you didn't see no weird. You thing. see nothing. No. Really? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody fell down the stairs <laughs> or something <laughs> like. <laughs> no, not that I know. I'm sorry. Nobody shit in the bed like Amber Heard or something. <laughs> no. 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 Let Let me think about it. Maybe I. Okay, we're gonna come back to that question after the break. Now <laughs> we're gonna smoke a cigarette and fucking yeah. and get back to it. <clears throat> I want to ask this: like, once you were like became a. You know what I'm saying? A play, what you call a playmate, right? Mm -hmm. Once you became a playmate, did you ever have like where you were out and like porn industries like came to you or like does that is there a world for that? Like like with you get what I mean? Like of course, I'm sure yeah, a lot that, of playmates what my, go into my porn. My dad was afraid of when uh -huh. I told him that I'm working for Playboy, but it was already in Germany. Oh, that's interesting. Like, what did your parents think? But your, uh, your mom was cool with it, obviously. My mom was cool with it. Um, my dad said that he was afraid that I would end up doing, doing porn. porn. Um, and I said, so far, it sounds like this and this. This is the contract. We um, we watched it together. And, you know, like, so far, everything was, was okay. I was never by myself when I went there for so, the first uh, so time. So your parents were right behind you? With like, yeah. Okay, well, yes. my dad was not impressed impressed but it, he but of course like a father he felt like a father should feel yeah. in that situation i totally understand but i was 18 and i was curious and um i knew that playboy pictures are very tasty and you know tasty did you tasteful. did you make sure <laughs> yeah, like, tasteful. At that, they tasty too yeah. at that time <laughs> <Tasteful>. <laughs> no, at that at that time like um did your dad like um did you make sure you you 
the fact that you made that choice, did you make sure your de- your father like <clears throat> felt secure about like the choices that you were going to make? If that makes sense, so where he felt he could he can at least get comfortable with the fact that you are. So my dad in this took, lifestyle? I think, one or two years to just look at the pictorial. Because I didn't, f- he didn't feel comfortable with it. Oh, he didn't want to see the magazine. Yeah. I wouldn't so want to see my daughter in a it, magazine. It was okay for me. But then my mom said, look at it. It's cool. Like, it's very classy and everything. And um, so he ended up looking at one or two pictures and was like, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> As he should. As he should. I it's, get that. It's, right. Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it was a natural um, reaction. Um, he was just afraid I would regret it or whatever, or it could, you know, like be bad for m- for work afterwards. Yeah, concerned about you, like for yeah, the exactly. future. Very, was, very natural. Was there any like like bad circumstances that came after the fact, like after you did it, like years later, did it like keep you from getting any like opportunities or jobs or like did people look at you different? Mm. Or family members, like everything. Because I know, like yeah, every I'm time, family members they they do judge, but I don't care, and they know that I don't care. Okay. Um, but I feel that they judge. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's okay. Like it's not not bad, you okay. know, not in a bad way. They are um conservative. They are Catholics and mm. whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah it's okay. okay for me. Um, so I felt that um doing that. And also um, being, you know, like having looks and stuff, it would be a disadvantage because people think that I get everything for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's vice versa. So it's not the fact that I um, that I have that they don't take me because I wasn't Playboy and this was not, you know, um, they don't want to have anything to do with it. But they just don't want to be judged as people that um, hire me because of my looks. And then I, then I don't get the job. Stuff like that. You know So what I they mean? would discriminate against you because they felt l- they didn't want to be... Involved in, you know... Hiring the hot girl or whatever? Yeah, exactly. Like if it was a dude that was doing the, hi- doing the hiring or something? Yeah, this kind of situations. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Or in school, the, uh, the teachers were treating me bad because they were afraid they they will tell them or, you know... They will be looked at like they're trying to like yeah, to favor you because... Exactly. And I was treated badly because of that. And Damn. and the girls were like um, treating me badly because they thought I get everything for free anyway. And it she was thinks she the shit. She was a playboy. Yeah, exactly. model. I can understand and that. I, it's I like didn't envy. Care. They're kind of envy. Classic women. Yeah, and shit. I didn't care. I was never taking this too seriously. Because I'm sure there's a lot of I'm sure there's a lot of women. Like I'm, I mean, I wouldn't say a lot of women, but I, I, I would say there's some women that probably would wouldn't mind doing something like that, but they're just more afraid about the fact of yeah. how people are gonna judge. Yeah, them. how people are gonna look. You at know them. what I'm saying? Because it's fine. Because like you said, you like, like you said, Playboy is, is different. Because like you said, it's classy. It's not like tasty. It's yeah, tasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, tasty. But you, you know, it's not like it's not like doing porn or something like that. So maybe in this life, you know, some women probably considered it, but not brave enough to come out and be like. You know, this is actually something I want to do. So, of course, some of those people are probably the people that are, like, you know, coming after you. Like, oh, shit, she thinks she's a shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once, once there was this girl and um, there were other people asking me questions about Playboy. And she was like, um, I don't know what's so special about it. I would never do it. And I was so pissed in that moment. And I said, but no one even asked you. Oh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, but this was not my, this was not my usual um reaction to it but i was always very shy about it and everything i didn't mind it but just don't discriminate me for this yeah like yeah, yeah. if you don't want to do it it's fine but don't you don't know. look down on the person yeah, that exactly. did like it's so it was your life decision. your choices yeah, your exactly. body and that's why i i never regret it but um i really felt bad about how people looked at me yeah, I feel but you, I just feel for you. this, n- not because I did it, but because they thought that I feel special about it. I never took it seriously, never, yeah. not even then when mm. I was at the Playboy Mansion. So I have to show you pictures because all these girls were like, you know, having like the 
almost their boobs out when we went out and stuff. And I was always with us with a scarf, but just because in the US it's every everywhere it's so cold because of AC. Because yeah. <laughs> of AC. Yeah. Shit, so, the AC is the best thing that's ever been invented. It, exactly. I don't know why yeah, Germany don't invest in more like, of them. <laughs> nah. Don't turn it that cold. Yeah. And so I I went there and I AC. was very natural. <laughs> <laughs> I was very natural. So I, I was always the not hot girl around this hot girls. And I didn't care because I didn't took it seriously. Yeah. I didn't want to end up in some wherever. And maybe and i was i was young i was 18 19 20 around that age yeah. um so you know i feel like you should have a natural way of protecting yourself and then you probably succeed of course anyone could take me in a corner and rape me that can happen an anywhere whoa you know like yeah it could happen that's the reality of being a woman you if know? you don't you know if you don't shine with it then it probably doesn't happen to you if you don't walk around like of course i'm I'm not saying that you, if you w walk around sexy then you are just meat that people can take but if you are afraid that something can happen you just try to avoid it yeah, and yeah, you yeah. can you can walk around like you want but just make sure you are in a protected environment. And, and if you walk around like that, be aware that you you might be targeted. Yeah, you might be targeted by somebody who, you know, is way too turned on and yeah, want, might want to take it. You know, that's just a that's just a reality of the. Of yeah, the situation. unfortunately, it's like it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's it's nice or it's right or whatever but that's what it is what it is exactly because exactly. I, I i do feel like you know women should you know i'm i'm with how <coughs> women should you know be able to you know especially when it comes to like clothing and stuff like that if, if that is what makes you feel good as a woman i know you know i don't know what y'all's uh, you know judgment on that but i'm just saying like i feel like if you i feel like women should have the right to kind of do what they yeah they should dress want, how they want but, but they should be aware of they have to be aware you know there are sick people out there that don't mm -hmm. you know yeah exactly just gotta be aware of that yeah so from 10 people maybe one one is the predator and then yeah, you, you just know. try to avoid and you know it's not right but that's the way it is and if you don't want anything happen to you then you try to avoid this environment yeah. and if you don't want to have sex in the playboy mansion then just don't go when there's a party where there are a lot of men don't go to the orgy room yeah, don't exactly. want to have an orgy room. don't Number knock one. at the door and then don't go to the champagne room okay yeah. <laughs> exactly like you know this is uh, of course you you will regret it i'm not saying that i'm blaming you for this but then you will regret it it's just uh yeah yeah i feel you on that but you live and you learn. But uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you is like the craziest thing that happened. No, no, no. You okay. you already said you don't remember no crazy no. shit. You capping. You don't want to tell the, the story. The crazy thing was <laughs> that nothing happened. Okay, we gonna we gonna roll with that. You know, I'm but I'm again. I'm gonna ask again. <laughs> we are gonna ask again later in the yeah. podcast. You know, maybe you take a little sip of the whiskey, you loosen up a little bit. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> nah, but I was gonna ask you like, cause back then. I don't know, like social media wasn't the, wasn't the thing when you was eighteen and unfortunately a, and a Playboy, you know, bunny and shit, you know. But now it's you know it's taking over the world, you know. Like instead of Playboy, there's there's OnlyFans where, you know, a, a chick can be her own Hugh Hefner and put her own cell phone, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. take pictures and you know put them out there. And some women make millions, you know. I know. I heard of it. Yeah, and do you like in like if you was 18 today? Yeah. And the opportunity was only fans. <laughs> yeah. You think you would you would I would take it? You would take it? Um I think I would um open up an account. Mhm. Mm and just try out things that I feel comfortable with. Okay. Because um when I did my Playboy shoot I didn't feel comfortable with the video that I have to do. Okay. That comes with with the Victoria and everything. I saw that video. I couldn't put it in the. Good. In the podcast because. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I, I it's really. It's not YouTube friendly. I really didn't feel comfortable because it, for me it was kind of soft porn. But I didn't blame him for it because there was this contract and it said that 
I have to do this video. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, can I skip the video and also um, I'm, I'm not taking the money. Is it possible to just, uh, you know, um, and they said, no, if you want to do it, then you have to do the video. Yeah, yeah. So you knew what you were getting. Still, I had the choice to say, no, no, you know what? I don't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable at all. Okay. I did a shoot. We did one take and that was it because I, I was like, okay, if you're not doing it right now, then you have to do and redo and redo it. So was the first, I, I think they said it was one of the, the fastest, the fastest videos that, I, that, Oh, so, so you did it once and they was like, okay, yeah, we got I it. I didn't feel comfortable with it, but I said, okay, I decided that this is coming with it. And if I'm going to do this shit, I'm going to do this shit. Yeah. Do a bit. Get it over with. Yeah, exactly. And, and fucking wrap this shit up. Okay, I feel you on that. Yeah, but I, I think um, I would, yeah, I would definitely try and do whatever I feel comfortable with. The fact that you did it, uh, do you regret it? Like, the Playboy thing? No, just like the video that you were talking about. Do you regret the video to where you could feel like these women? Be like, yeah, because it's still, on the internet forever, you know? Yeah, I know. I still don't I just like Googled to it. watch it. I still don't like to watch it. and But regret is like a little bit. I, I would but not, have enough to, not enough to blame him for no. that. Okay. No, I cannot blame anyone. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, you can't really blame nobody because like you said, they gave you the choice. And you, you said, you said, yeah. So, I mean, but like I said, and like, they do it in like a classy way. It's not like you filmed a porn. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was, I mean, it was cool, but. You went on there with like five black dudes. <laughs> 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 like Riley Reed or somebody, you know, like it's yeah. a classy, like you, yeah. you knew, like my wife did the same thing, you know. Oh, yeah. Was she in the U.S. as well? No, she did it here in Germany. Oh, they did the video here. Yeah, they did the video here. Okay, and everything. Uh, when I when I did it, wh when was she in Playmate? She had like maybe like three f three four years ago, five years ago oh, or something. Okay, for me it's like fifteen years ago. Yeah, not too Seven, long ago. Seventeen. <laughs> like right before we oh, got time, like serious oh. and stuff, I think. Okay. Yeah, but they, they did the video, and she, like, shot for the magazine and stuff like that. She was, yeah. like, Miss November or something mm, like that. Okay. But she, like I said, she did it for, like, like furthering her career, not knowing that it was going to kind of hinder mm. it right after and stuff, because she wasn't that type of Yeah, well, she before. was a model before, right? Yeah, yeah that's the thing. I, I wasn't. I was just, you, you know. just fell into it. No, I was super curious, and I said to my mom, if I ever, and we watched a series or whatever it was about, um, a documentary about Playboy. I said I would never take off my clothes, but for Playboy I would do. And I was 15 or something. Okay. So also with 15, you kind of have have an idea of what you would do or wouldn't. But I was I didn't have the idea to you know just um, apply for it because I didn't feel sexy enough to do it. I was not even. I mean, he was 15. Yeah, but even with 18, I was wearing a Playboy necklace. But just for fun, because back because Playboy in the was that was the brand and exactly. Stuff. The they bunny. had a lot of merchandising. Bunny, yeah, the stuff. bunny. <laughs> bunny. I wonder. I wonder if that's the phrase where the phrase "snow bunny" comes from. <laughs> I don't know. You know when you're referring to like yeah, a white yeah, chick. Course. Yeah, of course. I, no, I no just, that shit has always been there. <laughs> never I never heard of it. You never I, heard snow bunny? Nobody ever called you a snow bunny? No. Okay, that's maybe I that's the thing black people say amongst there. themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what else what, what else do you call white girls? <laughs> um, I don't know. I ain't, I don't gonna, I ain't not getting in. interested. I don't even know, bro. <laughs> like truly, no, I never, it ain't, it's not many names. I just hear the names. Know. Like I hear a lot of black people. Karen, like, like that's a name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, that's the asshole white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, but that's a name that people call white women. You know, Karen. Uh. What is another, I don't know. Like, I can't think of any off my head because we've been out the game. We we both like in relationships yeah, and stuff, exactly. so we don't we're not like single guys out here talking about. Well, no, I'm not tapped into the li yeah to the lingo of like yeah. what they call white women now. You yeah, know what yeah. My you know my my era was nobody. So that's what yeah, I heard. that's what my when I, I was in the call them now. Though. Uh, who knows what they huh? call y'all now? What you said? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who tips? What? Q tips? Q -tips. Q -tips. I never heard that one. Never heard that. Ah, <laughs> really? 
I ain't never heard Q-tip. of shit like that. That don't even make any sense. I know it's white, but like you stick that in something. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make sense for a woman, though. No, it don't make. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, let's get into these weekly topics, man. Get some opinions on these weekly topics. So I just brought up OnlyFans, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's this little girl. She's eight. I think she's 18. You never seen a viral video? She's like. She's like, catch me catch outside. How about that? Yeah, catch me outside. You know, How about that? No, me. I I live like in a cave. <laughs> okay, they call her the catch me outside girl because catch me outside girl. she went on a show, the oh. Doctor Phil show. You know who yeah, Doctor Phil that. is? Yeah, I at least know. Okay, that. so she went on Doctor Phil and she was like one of these like really bad kids that badass like badass white kids, badass white snow out bunnies, with black people, <laughs> 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 like really like always like unruly with her mom didn't want to do what her mom said and she talked like really black yeah like ethnically like she's trying to imitate a black girl okay and uh she she was talking shit to dr phil and and to the crowd because the crowd was booing her the whole time i think she was like 15 when she was on the show i think and uh like the crowd was booing because she was like cussing out her mom and cussing out Dr. Phil. The mom was like, I just can't control her. Can't she's blah, blah, getting blah, blah. I'm afraid she's gonna go to jail because she's like what fifteen or something like that. Yeah, the time. but she was like hanging out with her hood rat friends and stuff. <laughs> and then like like I said, the crowd was booing and to the crowd she was like, And fuck y'all too. Like, catch me outside. How about that? Yeah, that's what she said and to that, the crowd. At fifteen. And that that went viral. Like somebody took a clip of that like years later oh, and no. it went viral and she blew up on the internet. They made right? a song out of it and everything. Yeah. Somebody really? made a song yeah. out of it, put it on Spotify, got millions, probably a billion views at this point. <laughs> and she took that, she took she which was smart. She took that opportunity. She was like, somebody put out a, a song with my voice and I didn't even have nothing to do with it and it blew up. And then she became a rapper. At like the age oh. of maybe 16, 17, maybe. I think like and 16. One she, of her songs have hit like Billboard. like Gucci they, Flip Flops, Gucci. maybe. <laughs> you should have put the... Come on, I should have. But we can't play music in the pod, though. Uh, it's going to get copyright stricken and shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. But um, she had a pretty successful like rap career after that. Because she was known, already known for being ratchet and shit. And um, I don't know. She, she, she got rich off of rap after that and went on a tour and... Worked with a lot of, uh, like, big artists and stuff. Wow. And uh, the whole time, she talking shit. Just, just, <laughs> she, whole, I, like, she got exactly a exactly how she was on, like, the Dr. Phil show. She yeah. Being bad as fuck. Like. And uh, the whole time, she was just waiting to turn 18, you know? Mm-hmm. And apparently, she had a lot of fans that was waiting on her to turn 18. <laughs> and the day she turned 18, she dropped her OnlyFans. Okay. And she made a million dollars in 24 hours on OnlyFans. Just turned 18. That is so inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. And she's not even like, I she's not so even proud a, of her. <laughs> uh, I'm sure her mom proud of her now. <laughs> and, she uh, but she's not even that attractive to me. Yeah, I mean, but she's smart. I mean, or you, she has good people. You saw yeah. what they offered like Kylie Jenner or when she turned or Kendall Jenner when she turned 18 like Pornhub was trying to get like give her like millions. I know. Millions. Probably all of the sisters when they turn like 18 they get money for her. Yeah, yeah. now it is yeah, but now at the time. But but yeah, so she made a million in one day and it's been a year since she dropped it. Okay. And she just like oh, we going I'm going to play the clip. You're going to see a, a little bit of how much shit she be talking. Of course, I'd rather call me the fucking youngest female of the decade to go play. Call me some shit like that. Like, there's way more things. Call me the fucking Gucci. Wait, I think that was like the middle of the video. I'm going to go back to the beginning. She is attractive, though. Okay. And no, it's not something that I'm just, oh, yes, I'm so in love with being the girl who got famous for... Oh, being on Dr. Phil and saying some crazy shit. No, that's not how I feel. Is she naked? Wait, but did you see how fucking big her teeth are? <laughs> she got them big ass porcelain veneers. It's like too big for your mouth and stuff. Yeah, they be She got the lip injections. She, does she wear something? Yeah, she Yeah, she got on like a halter, like a crop top or some shit. Okay, because she looks naked. Yeah, I think she did it on purpose, but let's keep going. So, of course I oh, rather yeah. call me the fucking 
Look at look at them teeth. <laughs> <laughs> she got the veneers and them joints. But they, she got a bad job. Anyway, let's keep going. Youngest female of the decade to go platinum. Call me some shit like that. Yeah, she went platinum. Like, there's way more things. Call me the fucking Gucci flip flops girl, the high bitch girl, the girl who got a fucking million dollar makeup deal, the girl who made over fucking $50 million on fucking only. Call me whatever the fuck you want. Okay, we that's try- that's what I wanted. That was what I was waiting on her to say. In a year's time. She made fifty million dollars on OnlyFans at nineteen. I think she's nineteen now. At nineteen years old, she just bought a six million dollar mansion, cash. Shit is OD. Really? From posting booty shots on OnlyFans at eighteen years old. Yeah, that is smart. The people smart. who are I can't who I can't are even watching lie. that it's are stupid, not her. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I was getting at. Like. I don't fault her at all. Like, get your money. Yeah, that's Shawty, what I'm like, that's, 50, can't 50, nobody hate on her no more for 50, 50 mil million. in a year. And the thing is, on OnlyFans, there's a lot of restrictions. You can't do that. Por- like, you remember, Trey told us that. You there's no that, porn. You can't do that porn shit. So <clears> only just, naked pictures. It's just literally oh, okay. naked pictures. So, But like, you can take everything, uh, right? You like can you show everything, everything. Can't do porn. but you can't show you can't. sexual yeah, acts and stuff. On it now. You can't do no porn on there. Nope. They shut it down. That's, that's you know why did. they shut it down? Because they was trying to, like, cause you know OnlyFans blew up in the pandemic like everything else? Mm-hmm. And they was trying to get corporate, some corporate money, some corporate sponsors and shit like that. And um, <clears throat> nobody wanted to do business with them because they, like, they got that porn stigma on them. So they was like, how can we rebrand and change? Because people don't only show naked stuff on OnlyFans, you know? Like, it's celebrities who show more of their life on there and people subscribe to it and pay monthly to like see like different things like people do classes on there all type of shit but it's mostly known for the porn and the naked stuff you know that's how it blew up Mm -hmm. and uh, like I said they was trying to get like corporate big time like money sponsors and shit and they couldn't because of the, the porn stigma so that's when they like they were like no more porn you can have naked pictures in a certain way but no intercourse on there no crazy fucking or you know. i mean if she's cool with it then i don't see any problem of course she has i mean people will hate her but for that money a lot of people will love her as well yeah i don't see i have no fault in what in her doing it or the amount, the amount of money she made like but the thing i wanted to like point out and kind of get y'all opinion on is like the dudes that waited that's what I was from yeah. 15 to that 18 creepy. that is creepy that was probably but she look man jerking she, off the look, whole look, time to her she knew that though i tell you why you know when she knew <clears throat> you know when she made that plan bro like that big move to do only fences because i don't think you guys remember like maybe a couple like 2 years ago 3 years ago she it was that one guy who slid in her D. It was like they were talking about her DMs. Okay. Like, it, it was like a celebrity. There's been a couple of celebrities that were overage saying, and she said, like, so and so sliding in my DMs and stuff like that. Oh, really? And it's the comments and stuff under to where I think she saw, like, a lot. Because I, I read the comments. A lot of the men were like, you know, 18, can't wait till you're 18. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, if, you know, business wise, like, you she know, was, she's she going to make that move. That she is gonna, smart. smart. You know, smart yeah. as fuck. Like, yeah. You know? And she was already out there, so it wasn't too far fetched for her to like and she jump looks on the like only she fans. wants to do it. Like, no one forced yeah, she her. Yeah, she do. She got she was she got all the surgeries at like seventeen. She got her lips did. She got the big veneers. She got her boobs did. I think she got her ass did. Like anything you could get did, she got she it done. did. Yeah, it's done <laughs> on her. You know, like yeah. <laughs> everything and. You know, I can't even. I can't really knock her. I for can't it. knock her at all. Come on, bro. Like, no, that's like she ain't make. She ain't make. She made like two thousand. Like she made fifty million. Fifty bro. mil. Like people are really people. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I mean, I. You I mean she's like you know the catch me outside thing <coughs> with, with the, that era was going on. I thought it was ri- ridiculous how me too. she was acting. But I mean. That's years ago, bro. Like now, she's like, bro. She capitalized are, off of that shit. Yeah, she's the, people are mad that you know they didn't have that idea. Like, exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, damn. Like you know. So of course they're gonna be like, well, she's making fifty million, but she's still that catch me outside girl that's trying to act black. But she that catch me outside girl. 
making that fifty fucking that mil. Got fifty mil off of that off of that I viral mean, she, video. She was dead anyway, so why not taking money out of it? Yeah, and it's you a lot of people. I mean? like, it's a lot of people that go viral for crazy things on the internet that yeah. that you never hear about. After um, what's his name? Boom gang? Uh, no, no, not boom <laughs> gang. He's oh. one, but uh, what's the one nigga that was like, um, and you could go and say that, homeboy. Remember that shit with the with the. Uh, he oh, broke sorry. into the house and you know he was like hide your kids, hide your wives. Oh, yeah, everybody, blah, blah. you know the that? gay dude. Yeah, he he's What's made like Tyrone Bigger. Yeah, no, he made a lot of money. Bigger. He profited. <laughs> he profited a lot, man, off that. He's, he did. I yeah, saw him bro. in a Madea movie. I think he makes a lot of money to this day because of that. He got a song too, right? Yeah. <laughs> He did his hair, his hair. I remember, he was looking wild. Like, he's, you could tell they was in the Yeah, hood. he was like, hide I mean, your kid, people, hide people, your wife. <laughs> people hate you for any kind of th things you do. So, but it's easier to just ignore fly that in, shit. A, in a Ferrari than on a bike. Exactly. That's why this the quote goes. That's a quote right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, kudos to her, man. Like. I'll get your money, Shawty, and all you weirdos that paid for weird. her yeah. fucking OnlyFans. Yeah, y'all niggas is weird. Y'all weird are as fuck. Not her. I'm about to, I'm it's about the same dudes that's paying for them fart jars. I'm about to make a... <laughs> look, look. I'm trying to tell you. I'm about to make a Only... <laughs> look, look. Listen. I'm about to make a OnlyFans to show my feet, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> niggas think I'll cap it. Like, I'm about to show my feet. Oh, I was asked to... Um, a guy wanted to purchase um, my my worn underwear. I was going to say that to be funny before you finished, but no. I was like, I'm going to wait till she say that no, shit. No, um, someone on How much Facebook? he offer? I don't know. I didn't answer. Well, Come on, man. I, I couldn't did. be a woman. I'd be like, hey, you want these no, dirty jobs? I, I was asking, <laughs> like, uh, what time, like, with period or with, you Oh. Know. No. But people pay for, people really, like, pay for that, yeah. right? Damn, son. So that's, that's a real, getting that that's a bag. real thing. What? You should have asked him how much. No, I I didn't want to start this. What if he would have said like a hundred? Was it with somebody from Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a hundred grand. A hundred grand. Hundred yeah. grand. I I didn't want to think about for how much money I would do it. Come you know, on, like it, it ain't nothing. Yo, you ain't got nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? You could just wear some drawers for like a week or something. I mean, not and even me. I could could have. Yeah, you could have. You could have took some clean ones, <laughs> threw them in a mud puddle or something. You know, yeah. put some garlic on them or something. Nah, they, <laughs> nah look, look, they need the they look, nah, because some niggas are sick. They need the video. They were like, I want to witness. Yeah, I want to witness you take them off. <laughs> <laughs> Why they doing like like this? <laughs> Can you imagine the dude like getting that fucking package at his door? Like, fuck, can't wait to sniff yeah, the fuck I can't out. Wait of to <laughs> come on, <laughs> sniff the fuck out of these motherfuckers. What the? F it's some I would put it in like a, a tuna thing. <laughs> oh lord. Yo, that's but it's it's unfair. Is there women out there that are like that or weird? Like No, just guys. Up. Is it it's just mostly it's guys? You. It's mostly guys that it's like shit I like take that. These off today, <laughs> man, these motherfuckers. Send them to some fat bitch in South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Be like <laughs> she put a motherfucker type back. What what would you do? Like, what would you do if like Somebody DM your wife and was like, send me these drawers, like, blah, blah, blah. And she came to you and was like, yo, this dude's offering me, like, 50 million. If she was, like, like interested in doing it? No, I'm talking about if she just came up to you and she told you, like, yo, babe, like, some weird dude. I think that has happened before because yep. my girl did Playboy, too. Okay, but too. I'm saying, I'm saying, though, they was really offering, like, a, a million, lot of money. A million. And she came up to you and was like, For a million, is, I would sell them. This thing is weird. Like, why? And For just the dirty draws? It, and she came yeah, to get mom. your consideration. Would you would be like, I'm hey. like, how fast can we can we do this deal? You know, like. <laughs> like I'm about to say the same shit. I'm about to be like. Can he send it over paper? How okay, can we take can? that shit off right now? Nigga, nigga I'll get For my million, drone out and fly these. Um, yeah. flat rate. For flat. a million, I get my drone and fly the draws to him. Like, priority <laughs> mail. Take that shit to that nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, I would deliver them draws <laughs> in a golden package, nigga. Here's my wife's golden draws. Yeah, his <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. For a million, a million? That's not even a question. That's why I'm saying you should at least found out. I know. They uh, just underwear, you know, like <laughs> send them, you know, what the. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the first time I heard about that was on that uh, that Netflix show, Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. You seen that? Yeah, no, I haven't seen the show. Oh, it's but a I great show. It. You should watch it. 
But yeah, the, it was like the chick, the main chick on there. She came up with the idea because they had to. She got a job in the prison, and it was like they were like stitching women's like underwear and bras and panties and stuff. And it would it would be always a little leftover fabric. So toward the end of their shift, they would like take the little leftover fabric and make extra draw extra like panties out of it. And like she would like she was like the kingpin. She would like get went like give them to women. Tell them to wear them for a few days. She would give them like, cause she had she, she made her brother set up a website, and it would have like different categories, like stuff that they wanted the women to eat that the, while they was wearing them, and like they wanted okay. them. Oh yeah, to, I remember this. Uh, at this this uh, season. Yeah, like some of them wanted period pa- panties, like you said. Right. Like it was all kind of little criterias and stuff, and like <laughs> <laughs> mostly Asians was buying them and stuff. Yeah, it was an American guy, by the way. It was an American dude. Yeah. Fucking disgrace to him, America. You should ask him like, yo, how you should be like, yo, how much you want for him again? You should just see. I should. Yeah, you probably still got the message, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'll be I like, just, how much? You should hit him up. You'd be like, hey, you remember when you you wanted them dirty them dirty draws? <laughs> yeah, we need a. I ain't gonna lie, we you know if he offer you a lot. <laughs> We need, was, a, we need a tip for the quote goats. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I answer? I'm like, okay, it's about four years. Is it enough that I wear it? Oh, uh, okay. probably get about yeah, a meal for like, them. He'd be like, that's extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the craziest thing a guy's like asked you? No. Maybe I like was, some for some feet pics or? No, I was asked if I want to pee in someone's mouth. Or Jesus, what is the a obsession? Ah, oh, nah, a thousand. You gotta go they was up. trying to fly you to Dubai? No, it okay. was here. It was here. It was here. So a German guy asked you this. It was a German guy. What is up with this piss and shit obsession, man? I have no idea. Like, um, And I said, but with no touching. <laughs> Oh, so you considered yeah, sure. that one? You was, <laughs> you was like, hell no nah to the draws. You want me to piss some? Uh, how much? No, I was, I, I was like, I want to know how that works, but you know, and uh, and I said, but no touching or that, how does it work? Like, wh- what is the point? Yeah, yeah just but you have to to be good at it at peeing huh? or peeing? like the aiming. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy that there's guys. Oh out my there like god! That. How do you right? bec- how do you become that person? <laughs> I don't know, bro. How That's do you become some... that dude that want a chick to like? What happened to you that like, scarred you in life that much? How could you just be like? I just love the smell of fucking. You know the taste of. It was a good question that you asked to know. Like, what about it? Like, why do you want me to like why to piss in your mouth? Like, <laughs> it turns him on. But, but what? why? Why? What, what exactly? <laughs> well, I didn't want to go that deep. You okay, know? okay. But I was we- just curious about to know if it was touching or not touching, not because I was considering it, but I was. He just probably wanted curious. you to choke him while you was doing it, like. <laughs> I want like, to drown. I mean, <laughs> people want to get um, kicked in the balls for money. Yeah, it's a big what? kink. It's a big kink and fetish community. You've never like, heard that? Uh, what the fuck? Where do you that's like you a, a that's like a part of the <laughs> that's nah, like a part lying. of the. Oh, I swear, come on, that's like, like a part of the dominatrix on, thing, too. right? Yeah, dominatrix. It's dudes that pay it. to get humiliated, get get. <laughs> oh, get hold kicked on, in the balls one. to get smashed, to get smushed by a fat chick. Mm. They pay big money for that, bro. Yeah. But let her tell her story. <laughs> I was asked. So let her tell her story. Bro. I was just for a friend. I was on Tinder. <laughs> for a friend, okay. <laughs> and uh, there was this guy, and um, he asked me if I wants. I wanted to be his. Um, he his madam. It, yeah. For the dominatrix. Yeah. Shit. Okay. But he said that he just wants to to uh, clean my house. And I said, but naked? And he said, yeah, if you want to. I said, but if I don't want to? And how much is it? And he said, no, I'm, I'm paying you for that. And I said, so let me get this straight. You will come to my house, clean my house, and pay me for that? And I said, but are you cleaning right? <laughs> 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 you know, like, are you really cleaning or just... But he just pretending? wanted you to, like, boss him around and yeah. make, him, make him feel like a piece of shit? And he, yeah. Exactly. He asked me. Some dudes get off on that weird ass shit. I want you to (laughs) watch me doing it. And I said, okay, so I have to sit on the couch and just watch you clean my apartment. 
And he said, yeah, please. And just be mean to me. <laughs> that's a that's a real thing, bro. Yo. And he probably he probably like his life. He probably got all the control in his life. He probably like work at a company where he's like the boss or something. And he's used. He, he was used, young and he was good looking. Oh really? I swear he was like, a nice looking. Because usually it's I like the like, dude that's like fuck it, this is boy. <laughs> If he's paying you, what? Did you did you go through with that one? No, but I considered Damn, this. You fucking up the bag. The oh, you should have did that you one. You fucking up the bag. I would have been like, I hate cleaning I, my apartment. So I was like, oh my god, this is like, and, and getting what? money for it. You should have took him up on that one. I but you should have had like somebody like. But I feel bad for him. He pro- you didn't do it. I bet he. I bet he paid some other chick that same yeah. week. I know, but and I cannot. That's... I cannot be mean to him. I mean, I, I would be super grateful. But he wanted it though. <laughs> what is weird ass? I don't know. <laughs> just like, what what? The... Please I felt so be sorry. mean to me. <laughs> I mean, like, how much you paying? If he said, like, you know, I give you like, you know, five five k, I'd be like, if a chick, if, if a he chick that, asked me that, psh, I'd be in there with a like, whip. I mean, I mean, I'd be like. <laughs> And I asked him if he's bringing his own stuff. (laughs) You never know. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. I considered that, actually, but I don't, I feel sorry. Was this after Playboy? Yeah, it was just a a few months ago. Did you get a lot? It was just a few months ago. Yeah, I swear. Oh, so it's still a chance. (laughs) It's still a chance. I know, no, I feel bad for him. Damn, bro, it's still a chance, though. You better get that money, (laughs) man. You better get that money. Word, too. I would be like, yo... Remember I told you a couple months ago, no, get your ass over here. Get <laughs> the clean the fucking, fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked him if then he wants sex or something and he said no if you don't want to. I'm like, "Oh my god." That's but my I would dream, at least man. I would at least have somebody there like in another room just in case he like Yeah. grab the broom it. and try some crazy <laughs> shit with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know like I got you here alone now, you know, like some shit been, like that. I've been that shit acting it out. Drop the plate. I just messed that up. Clean that shit up. The guy I've been wilding. <laughs> no, I mean, um, and I asked him like, what, what's the scene? Like, um, do you really clean? Yeah, I'm super clean, and I just want you to hell to yell if I don't do it right. That's like that's hiring. So that's crazy. Like, and what the I'm fuck? Like, that's like hiring a nanny who no. cleans for you, yeah. and you're not. You're not paying her. No, like, you're you getting, getting paid. You're getting paid. I mean, that sounds I mean, like a normal relationship to me. That's just crazy. <laughs> this, it's crazy. Yell at someone. It's crazy to me that there's people out there like that. That That's just like. What you, uh, why, what you think his life has, like, what led him? That's I what think, I'm curious I about. What I led asked him? I think it's your story. You asked him. Yeah. And he said that he was very dominant and he was an asshole to women. That's what I was getting at. Like, p- yeah. like dudes who, who, who have a fetish for like women, like humiliating them and bossing them around. <laughs> I said, I'll get it. In their life, they got all the power. You know what I'm saying? They just, they longing for somebody to put them in their place. Yeah. You he know? said he was such an <laughs> asshole and um, he wants to give women that back. What the fuck? And it turns him on. That's and crazy. And I swear it was a really good looking guy. It was not a creep or something. Damn. I, I I wanted to call him. I said, I have to call you now. I want to know more get this about this man. This get that man a fucking therapist but or I something. Just, I was just curious about it because I was, you know, he was super nice to me. That's crazy. Wow. We live in a really fucked up world. I've so definitely heard time. about heard about shit like that and like dominatrix and shit. Like one of my one of my girl friends. One of my girl's friends that I tattoo sometimes, she's saying that, <laughs> that she, like, she was telling me that she got, had the opportunity to become a dominatrix and, like, wear the whole leather get up and, get, you know, have the whips and the chains. And she was like, because, like, it's easy work, you know, like, men come in, you know, you, you put on the get up and you just beat them up for however long they want you to beat them up. You hit them with a whip, you. you know, stick some shit up their ass and punch oh. them. <laughs> and like he, she was like, you get a they get a safe word and you just fuck them up until they say the safe word. <laughs> and she was like, most of the time they don't never say the safe word. They just take the punishment and they get off on it the whole time. And I'm like, I feel so sorry for those guys. Yeah, like I, can you imagine that's being why that I couldn't dude? Do it. I mean, they happy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is what I mean, they happy, bro. Yo, they I happy, guess. Gang, like, like you feel me? That's what, like, you know, it's like, you know, you play the video game and shit. You know, that makes me happy. You know, niggas, they like some, doing shit like yeah, that. Yeah, some niggas like getting dominated. Yeah, because that means they really like, I, I seen like, you know, I seen documentaries like, <laughs> the niggas is like, they enjoy that shit. Okay. Like, but you know, I'm but that surprised. That shit is not normal, though. You know? I, I'm surprised I didn't <laughs> I didn't witness this at the Playboy Mansion, but in normal life, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I feel like Playboy is not the fetish, not the fetish community. It's just like they delve into like orgies and shit like that, but not like watch the documentary. They, they get got into it. The, yeah. I gotta watch the rest of the documentary you have and to. shit. Damn. Like I said, it just it kind of depressed me the first four episodes and shit. So I was like, I'm gonna watch it. But I never got back around to it and shit. But <clears throat> and it's always like higher people and like power with a lot of money that's like into shit like that. They get bored. I and mean, they, they even project that in movies. So it gotta be like some like truth to it. No, that. I don't think. Um, I just think they have the, uh, um, they have the money to do it. But they got the options. They have yeah. They have like the sicknesses everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but have you Poor heard about? Just take it. Have you heard about the Dubai uh, doo doo contracts? No. What was it? What is a doo doo contract? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, so hear we, us out. Hear us out now. Yeah, I explained this on the last podcast, but it's when like women, like yourself, like a Playboy bunny or an Instagram model. model or something like that, that's known for like being sexy or something. They go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. You know, normally by themselves. You know, Cause you know how some women they go to Dubai and like they post pictures at the pool and at the 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 famous landmarks and stuff. But they always in the picture by themselves. You know, they never like there with their boyfriend or like with a girlfriend and something like that. They just posting like solo. Like I just decided, just decided to go to Dubai this I this ended weekend. Up in Dubai. Yeah, you know that's my this is my life. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing sinister behind this. You know. But really, they there because some rich guy in Dubai has fl has flown them there, paid for their whole trip and their whole stay, and you know offered them fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, a million bucks to shit on them. To shit on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like the wind up. Yeah, and you shit on them. <laughs> yeah, but like Johnny Depp has someone for them. Yeah, Amber Heard would fit in very nicely over there, but they don't want to get shit on. They want to shit on the women. Oh, they want to shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, they like, shit like physically, like like shit in their mouths and make make them. them eat the shit. You know. Oh, okay. For a million. Though. Yeah, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> For a hundred, <laughs> at least a hundred grand. Would you, okay, so here's the question: We asked the question last podcast. Potty parties. No, I wouldn't. Would eat you shit. <laughs> get shit on for a hundred million dollars? <laughs> oh, a hundred million. A hundred million in the, in the face. Anywhere. Anywhere. They like they shitting on you. In your armpit. They're like <laughs> for a hundred for a hundred million. Be honest. For be honest. A hundred million. million. A hundred million. If it, I don't have to eat it, I I maybe I, I don't would. know what you gotta do. You just getting <laughs> shitted on. Wherever they wanna shit at. No, not in the face. And not for a hundred million. And I wouldn't put anything in And anywhere. mind you this, he, he only on my hold skin. On, hold on, I gotta add this to it. He also <laughs> He, okay, he's he's texting you. He's telling you like I'm gonna fly you out, blah blah blah. But here, I'm gonna give you 100 million. But here is 35 thousand to secure that, so you know I got that bag, and you know I'm gonna pay for that flight. Yeah. Whatever. So now you're in the now you're sitting here with 35 thousand already in your account, and he said he's gonna give you the rest when you get there. All right, and you haven't even been there yet. Would you still get shitted on in the face? That makes sense. No, it doesn't. I would do it even if he. Doesn't give me the thirty five dollars for the for the oh, hundred million. In the face, you said. In yeah. Face. Oh no, not in the face. Come on, not it's a hundred million. You got no. you're gonna be like not my face. You can do it on my back. <laughs> Come on, now. Yeah, like, just, just like you can wash skin. it off your back, you can wash it off your face. You know. No, if I have to eat it, I you get got sick. kids. You got kids, don't you? So you've had poop on your face before. No, actually, they were they behaved. I never had no uh, poop on my face. And this is other poop than what they are eating. But the poop is poop. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I wouldn't. Uh, not in the face and not anywhere in me. I okay. would do it just on my on my skin. So you would for, for 100, 100 million, you yeah, would I let would. this man straddle over you. <laughs> take a shit. And just take a hot, steamy dump. <laughs> I think for 100 million. 
For a hundred million. Okay. Even I think, I think you for a hundred million, I would think about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'm like, sure. Hundred mil? <laughs> shit. Yeah, hundred mil. I go lie to you. I, it's happening. You wouldn't? Hundred mil, I take a big. Mil, I, I take a diarrhea I shit. <laughs> Nigga, I do that shit for fifty mil. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> fifty mil, I'm gonna have to. You know what I'm saying? Of course, like what the fuck? Mil. That's one. That's a few seconds. How long does the shit last? You know, like just with a guy if he has a phone. And I wouldn't tell. And I would. And <laughs> oh I, yeah. Look, look. And they wanted to record it. Listen, listen. Yeah, and no. I wouldn't tell nobody. <laughs> but what they wanted to record it? They wanted to live stream it no, on a big ass platform. Five hundred million. Hundred million. Nigga, the whole time, the whole, the whole stream, I'd be like, I'm getting a hundred mil for this. I'm rich. I'm rich. You know, I just be saying that over and over again. Like y'all, I'll be like, y'all do this too. Don't judge me. <laughs> and people would feel me. And if they didn't, fuck them. I got a hundred million. Yeah, facts. I'll be like, that I go too. buy me an island somewhere and never have to see nobody again. Buy my own shit. My yeah, own store. Exactly. Own I would name everything after like. Shit nicknames and stuff. <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. But anyways, yeah, ne- yeah, yeah. next topic. Next, next topic. topic. Let's get up on that. Uh, what's the next one? Okay. My boy, Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, Do you boy. know why he's in the news? Yes, man. So I'm a little <laughs> like, you should I can I tell the story? So let's 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 play the video first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the video. That's right. <laughs> George talking to Mike Tyson, bro. He's antagonizing Mike Tyson right now. One of the most dangerous people on the fucking planet. Mike Tyson trying to give us some shrooms. You don't know how to act. Tyson looking out, man. This shit crazy. You should have never gave you his money. He drunk. Obviously. In first class. Jesus hey, hey, Christ. Hey, Mike, Mike, come on. Let's go stop back. Let's do the worst, man. Yeah, they, yeah, I mean, I. That blue mint flight. Look, look, I ain't gonna lie. I was feeling, uh, bro, though. Like, Mike, what like. What happened to him? Mike Tyson was, was punching yeah, him. Yeah, but what happened to him in the end? But, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I think he got. He's trying to sue. Yeah, he's trying to sue at this point, but initially, they couldn't even find out who he was because. I don't know. It looked like it was gonna go away at first, but now yeah. he's now he's trying to sue. Yeah, but my thing is like I feel bro though, the one that was like, oh, Mike, like just chill, stop. I mean, you gotta think like like you said, it's the most dangerous motherfucker. Like he could have killed him. You could you gotta like you have to be like yo like yo chill, bro. <laughs> but you have to because you, you can't be, get on it. You yeah. can't try to pull him off. He yeah. might fuck you up too. Exactly, because I I would have to be like yo like stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I ain't even I ain't even noticed that shit. But yeah, you have to calmly have say. To, I would have to, like, you know, because I would think, like, damn, like, Mike Tyson, that's Mike. You're getting punched by him. I see memes, like, go, you know, like, die or get punched by Mike Tyson or some shit. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mike Tyson, I don't give a fuck. The niggas be talking about he old and shit. Like, that bitch. He still got that power, man. Hitting, if he still like, got, like, 70% of it, it's still, like, one of the hardest punches you could yeah. ever feel in your life. Exactly. Yeah, but how how did it get so far? He was like uh, no one was stopping the stupid dude. Nah, it was Mike Tyson. Mike's you know. T- you know. I mean, you saw he was probably on the flight by himself. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking yeah, I'm talking about, about the guy. Yeah. I'm talking about the guy. I'm he was probably on the flight by himself, or maybe I don't know if the guy who was filming was his friend, or he was just a random yeah, guy filming yeah, or whatever. It was his friend, but his friend was like hyping him up the whole time and. He was the only one that was kind of aware of the guy like doing shit behind Mike's back, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that was and that was low key harassment. He was kind of harassing Mike, you know. He I mean? was. It wasn't low key. It was like straight up drunk guy harassing. He probably dr- um, make him drunk and just for suing him and take the money. He, it could have been like set up because he knew if Mike hit him, he knew he could sue him or whatever. But yeah. I don't think I don't really think it was that. I think he was just drunk. So you know how some some dudes yeah I get men overly are excited crazy. and, and you especially know that. white dudes get they get drunk and they be like yeah how do you feel yeah Mike <laughs> what's up Mike yeah hit me hit me. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
because you know, motherfucker, you know, if it's one of us, we gonna be like, oh, that's Mike Tyson. Like, you ain't gonna go, you're not gonna go behind Mike Tyson acting wild. Like, Hell no, nah, you might acknowledge him. If like, he if he look at you, you might be like, hey, what up, Mike? Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, you gonna be it's, cool. It's like his, a lion never looking his. That's eye. what I'm saying. They're his, saying if the, he acknowledges you, you know, you can be like, what up? Yeah, you know? yeah, that's my point. Like that nigga's like. His punch is still being felt, nigga, by everybody, nigga. <laughs> exactly. Know, nigga's thinking automatic, like, damn, I don't want to upset this motherfucker because this motherfucker might kill me. Exactly. You don't want to be the guy that, like, walk up to him in the airport and, like, tap him on the shoulder because you never know. He could turn around and hit you with a fucking, what they call a cross or a left hook or whatever, the, uh, and uppercut. He was infamous for them up, uppercuts. It, it'd be over for you. He's just an unstable guy, you know. He used to talk about eating people's kids and shit, and like he bit a man's ear off. Like that's not a guy who you wanna, no, who you wanna I mean, like he, he, stir up the he, hornet's nest like with. He his boxing in his boxing prime, like he went into the ring. Like they asked him, like what was his feeling when he goes into the ring? He was like he he legitly said he he wanted to kill him. Yeah, like that like, he's crazy. a machine. I think he's bugged out. Like he's bugged out. Like he's really like. You know, a fighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. of course, he has a heart and shit like that, and he talks about like, yeah. Things. But at that time, Customado, the guy who trained him, he trained him to like be a pit bull, be a killer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And they got him into a lot of trouble mm -hmm. in them years. You know, he went to jail. He went to prison for rape. Mm -hmm. I think for what alleg did allegedly, he rape? <laughs> what did he rape? <laughs> he probably raped one of them tigers or something that he had. <laughs> But I think he, I think he was married to the to the lady he raped at the time. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I respect you know like like I said like niggas respect Mike Tyson. Though. Yeah, you, know you gotta saying? respect him. You gotta like the me. He's like one of those people like how people respect Kanye West. We know that motherfucker is crazy, but you know he's still respected, and you know it's kind of like that. We knew you know Mike Tyson has his, had his problems, like you say he was getting in trouble and shit like that. But motherfuckers just knew he was what type of time he was on. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. You seen the nigga on the on the like back in the day when he on the news he's he's cursing he was like why you got to curse at me Mike have you seen that like the I seen all them little yeah old he's like videos, the little yeah. thing he was like I don't give a fuck he's always been like that yeah so he they, went off on that report yeah, I can't remember exactly so what he said people know him they know the type of person he is so like why would yeah, you most people know that you don't do that to like you don't do that to any celebrity yeah, that's what I no not even celebrity you don't do that yeah you don't do that to people. <laughs> But it's exactly. especially it's not like levels. <laughs> yeah, but it's especially yeah. not Mike Tyson. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. So. The guy's a fucking idiot, and I hope to God that he don't win the lawsuit that he's he's going after right now because crazy. it's a lot of a lot of crazy dumbass lawsuits be getting yeah, cause some people accepted by the court and won in America. That's you know how some saying? people try to the, like you said the heat. You know, some people do those things to antagonize, like, the artists just to get that yeah, paycheck. Yeah, just to get you know that I mean? paycheck. So there got to be something to protect these, uh, you know, artists or, you know, these uh, athletes. It ain't, much, it ain't much in place to protect them, man. Usually, like, I forget what celebrity said it, but they was like, once you reach a certain level of fame... You can't get around being sued. I think it was maybe Will Smith who said it. he was like he gets sued like twenty times a year just just for people making up shit. Mm -hmm. And he was like a lot of times, it's 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 gonna cost him less and it'd be less time consuming if he just pay out the sell the settlement, let them win and just get rid of it That's instead true. of like going through the whole court process and paying lawyers and all type of shit. Depending like on the, I would say, but depending on the charge too. Yeah. Right? Depending on the charge. If but, it's a rape charge, they're going to be like, yeah. So, but Mike, Ty uh, not Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson. You remember mm -hmm. the first, uh, rape charge he got was a civil, it was a civil one. And his lawyer advised him to just pay it out to get rid of it. And it kind of backlash. And it him. backfired. Mm -hmm. Because they came back with the criminal suit and they was like, how are you going to say it didn't happen because you paid the, the last person off that, that said it? You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So it was like a bad little decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bad lawyer. Talking yeah, it was a bad you lawyer. Know, to keep on the, you know, this is one of the topics I wanted to say too is it's on the same lines. Like, what's up with your boy, like, Trey Songz? I think it's always getting charged for rape too, like. He well, he ain't got charged yet, but they they be like, they be, you know, uh, they be accusing him of rape a, a lot. lot of accusations. And then she has, he, they have the video. You saw the video, he kind of pulls down the girl's shirt and her like boob falls out. Nah. So they, yeah, bro, that was, that was, uh, I got to like, I want to talk about this shit, but I don't know nothing yeah, about yeah, it. So yeah, yeah. I just, I'm about to do a little research. On the same lines. Yeah, like, yeah, you know? yeah. 
But I I have been hearing little stuff here and there. You know who Trey Songs is, right? No. <laughs> you don't know who Trey Song. You know who Chris Brown is. Yes. He got a lot of songs with Chris Brown, but I guess yeah. he's not as famous as Chris Brown. You know the song that's like bottoms up, bottoms up. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, security, we about to tell the club you don't know that song? <laughs> With Nicki Minaj You know who Nicki Minaj is, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just making sure So Nicki Minaj and him did a song It's really famous Like, Yeah, he got some he got some big songs But he's been quiet lately Because of all the rape allegations And stuff like that But, yeah Next topic we, I'm just gonna play the video It's your girl Meg There was an argument in the car it was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm-hmm. But that's like normal friend yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly silly stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Wait, but do you know anything about this situation? No. So, she was shot in the feet. In the foot. She, she said she got shot in both of her feet. I heard a foot. Damn, okay. Okay, okay she but I'm was gonna, shot. She was shot. That's, I'm going to give you a little piece and I'll tell you the rest after. I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like, this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated. Right. That it did. So I get out the car, and it's like everything happened so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming, and he said, dance, bitch. And he started shooting. Do you believe that Tory Lane screamed dance, bitch, before? Yeah, Tory Lane's bugged out. <laughs> I don't even know. That nigga probably did. But do you really believe that shit? You don't know him, so nah, you can't. I, I don't believe it. I mean, we don't know him either, but look, we know look, of, I, more I, of him. Okay, so I don't believe I don't believe uh, Megan uh, because of not about the story. Like, she could tell that story, and, you know, everybody can have their, their two opinions, but, like, not based off this opinion, like what she just said. I don't believe her based off the evidence, the fact that they lost the bullet. Well, but before we get all the way into it, let me play the rest, the rest of her, uh, of her thing. There was an argument in the car. Oh. It was an argument because I was ready to go. And I never raised my voice too loud. Like this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated. To right. The that it did. So I get out the car and it's like everything happens so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming. And he said, dance, bitch. And he started shooting. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like he shot a couple of times. Mm-hmm. And I, I so was so now scared. She, now, he's, now she say he shot twice his, instead of once. Standing up over the window. Okay. Shooting. And now, she never said that before. She said he was standing up over the, like, shooting over the car, out the window, shooting at her. But in the beginning, her back was turned. Like, she changed her story so many fucking times. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, because I'm like, oh, my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's, like... Super important. I don't know if he can shoot me and kill me. Like, were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared because I had never been shot at before. Mm-hmm. All right, we gonna stop it right there. <clears throat> all right, go ahead and finish your point, bro. So, like, like I said, um, you know, she's doing all the, you know, she's doing all the crying and shit. Like, you know, I personally don't believe the story, um, because based off the evidence that they found, like. They couldn't find, like, they can't find a bullet. Yeah, they can't find a bullet. <clears throat> they wind Not up. Once? N- nope. No bullet yeah, for no the evidence. evidence you know, because every single time, every single time they, listen, if, you know, in, I, you know, shout out to, like, you know, I don't really like WAC 100, but he, he made yeah. a good point. Like, he said, he said, basically, like, when you get shot, you know, they take you straight to, you know, uh, I fuck, I the forgot intensive the, care yeah, unit or something. Yeah, they're going to take you right there yeah. because, you know, you got major. Blood vessels, blood in, vessels your, in, in your, your foot, foot, you know, yeah. and the fact that like it was just like even the healing process and stuff, it just didn't make sense. She then she was at a concert, you know, a couple, you Bro, know, a few days few after days that, after, she, she's she on shot, that, she shot that video with Cardi B. Yeah, she on that. And stiletto heels, shaking that. the fuck out of her ass, talking about some hands on my knees, shaking, you know yeah. what I mean, like. <clears throat> 
Uh, they're singing that shit. But you just got shot in the foot, and though. She got shot in the foot, so it's kind of like. Then it's like she didn't when it originally happened. Like when it happened, she didn't even do a report. She didn't even say like that motherfucker shot me. If you're scared for your life, okay. Mm-hmm. It, this is like what we do with, with police officers that you know, you know they would find wind up killing somebody and they're like you know they try to pull the narrative. I'm scared for my life and you know okay if you were scared she was so scared. Yeah, she during that initial report, she's definitely going to be like, you know, what I'm saying she's not going to be like that trauma was so much trauma. And I'm not going to tell the story. I'm not going to say like, hey, yeah, he shot me in the foot. So, <clears throat> I, I, I just don't understand her reaction. Her reaction of what she's telling doesn't make sense of like what. But, you know, she lied at first. She t- at first she told the police. Well, she said she lied, but she told the police that she stepped on glass. And that's how she got the cuts in her feet and shit. Uh, that's a different injury. Yeah, but yeah. she said, like, I'm going to break down, try to f- quickly break, because she don't know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. how this shit happened. So Meg Thee Stallion <laughs> is a female, a black female yeah, rapper in America. It. Tory Lanez is a really popular singer and mm-hmm. rapper from Canada, from Toronto. They were, like, dating and, like, fuck buddies. And they went to a party mm-hmm. at Kylie Jenner's, Jenner's. house. And allegedly, reportedly, they got kicked out because of something. Like some an people, argument or something. They, some, they got in an argument or Meg got too drunk. Or something happened where they had to leave the party. Mm-hmm. And so they in the car. Her, like Megan, Tori, her best, like Megan's best friend and, and, and um, Tori's bodyguard. Mm-hmm. And at some point, they start arguing in the car. Meg gets out. She she's walking away from the car and the gun goes off Mm -hmm. supposedly when her back is turned. And so now she's like shot in the foot. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really know who did it because her back is turned. Exactly. And um, she gets back in the car right after that. Right after that, she gets right back in the car. After a guy shoots her? After she gets right back into the car with the guy who supposedly shot her. And she's like, take me to the hospital. But then somebody had when somebody had already, already called, called the police, the police when they heard the gunshot. So the police showed up. She said it was helicopters and all this type of shit. And it's she, actually on YouTube. You can see the actual footage of when yeah. she gets pulled over and everything. Okay. So she lies to the police, tells them that she got she, her feet are bleeding because she stepped on glass. And she said, cause people were like, why you lie in the beginning? She was like. I was just trying to protect a black man because the whole, it was the whole, this was during the time of the whole Black Lives Matter movement and George Floyd had just got killed. So she like, I was scared that the police was going to kill everybody if I mentioned some gunplay or something like that. I didn't want nobody to die, even to do it, it just tried to kill me, you know, (laughs) which makes no fucking sense at all. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. And so trauma, she was so scared. She goes to the hospital and, you know, they're looking at her feet. And she had told the police that she stepped on glass. So the police are like, okay, there's no case here. We about to leave. And um, one of the nurses or the doctor came back and was, they were like, we didn't find no glass, but we found fucking oh. uh, evidence of, like, you being shot. And so the police stayed and they made the report because she didn't even want to go through with it at first. But when somebody gets shot, they have to pers- yeah. persecute whoever like shot you so the injury was there the injury was there but it wasn't like it's pictures online of her she didn't actually get shot i think like either the bullet like grazed her as in like went by her and like skipped her skin a little bit or like a fragment of something else that the bullet hit hit her feet like maybe they was if he actually did say dance bitch maybe he was just shooting at the ground and it ricocheted. It ricocheted in something. Because if you get shot in the foot. It explodes. Yeah, like your foot is fucked up and you're not walking for a long time if you ever walk on that foot again. Yeah. Because the most bones in your body are in your it's fucking fat. foot, you yeah. know, and it's some real vital like arteries and blood vessels in there. Well, shit. but still, <laughs> even if it just, you know. Yeah, but that's my point. Like, I don't think she actually... She She's saying, like, oh, I got shot. It was the worst experience of my life. Like, bitch, you got grazed they, I, I thought bit. they said they didn't find no gun residue either. Yeah, but I'm getting to that. Okay. Like, they didn't find... But um, come to find out after they didn't do some investigating, they can't find no evidence of no 
bullet fragments that were inside of her or nothing like that. Um, they they tested because you know when you shoot a gun, yeah, you have gun residue on yeah. you and you can't get rid of it Dang. for a while. Like it's nothing you can do. They tested him, found no fucking gun residue on him, but they found it on her on her friend, oh. who is not who is not talking about nothing since it happened, and they're not even friends no more because it's a rumor that he was he was sleeping with both of them and they found out that night and that was the art what the argument was about okay you know and the friend probably was like what it's pow, maybe you know probably took tori's gun and you know you know but and like after the shit everything all the facts all, all the facts came out about it everybody immediately want to cancel tory tory lanes and throw away all his music take his music off spotify all this shit like just on the allegation of him shooting her with no real proof, like it was a whole bunch of artists coming he out. He wasn't saying nothing about it. He wasn't talking for. He a long couldn't. Time. Yeah, yeah. But, but they like, put a gag. I'm order talking about on in him. the beginning when we didn't know that like he couldn't uh, do that because in the beginning everybody was like, "What's his response?" Because I saw a lot of celebrities that were like, "Why hasn't he come out and spoken about it?" Because he was quiet about it. The whole his time. lawyer probably advised. Yeah, of, him, of course, though. of course. About you know just during that time, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and then he released that. He released an album. He put a whole album out about the situation. About the situation. And, you know, then they did, a, a, the media did another upward because the day he released that album, it was the day of, uh, who's the girl that got murdered? The Was it Breonna Taylor? Breonna Taylor that got mur- murdered from, from police brutality. And, uh, but it he, was also the same day his mom died. But it was the day his mom died. Okay. So like uh, the media was like Rick Ross came at him a lot of a lot of celebrities he was really really close with and cool with like turned their back Tried on him to throw him away yeah throw him know? away and be like wow you you shot Megan Thee Stallion like which I thought was fucked up which the I whole thought, time and he, cause like, and he raps about it though he don't fuck you know Meek Mill like a lot of people turned him down and to yeah. come to find out they the ones looking dumb because the evidence is showing yeah the evidence is pointing yeah, to he didn't do it Johnny Depp and Ember Heard yeah I want to get same. to that too. Yeah, because yeah, but if we talk about Amber Heard Sorry. and fucking Johnny Depp, we they're gonna go down another rabbit hole. But let's try to stick on this topic. But yeah, um, the whole thing with me now is because like Megan is she's like that interview that I just showed the video is like a big news station in america you know cbs is one of the biggest news platforms in america and stuff and she going on this national like press run right now and she can say whatever she wants whether it's true or not true you know what i'm saying but they he can't talk at all he has a like a gag order on him like the court said that he can't speak on the case he can't proclaim his innocence he can't say what he thinks really happened he can't say because he's the accused in the situation, and I guess normally if you accuse of something, you can only speak in court. You can't defend oh. yourself. Can't publicly. defend yourself in the public uh, oh, public eye. But I think it should be both ways. I think she shouldn't be able to. Yeah, because how do you not change the? I feel like she's trying. She's trying to change public opinion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you the can public, say whatever you want. And exactly, and the public opinion uh, influences the jury. You know what I'm saying? Like in in, in exactly because how do you find an unbiased? Uh, like jury. jury without not making it mutual, like you said, like to where she can't say anything either. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I, I think that's. Know. But I, I heard his up. court. I heard his court is going very well. Like he, he just, like you know, remember he he posted. I saw on his Instagram he posted something like you know, you know, base. It was like a subliminal to what's going on in court, and because he's winning, you know, he like that's how the evidence came out about you know because they were kind of like bashing her on on like. Uh, you know, academics. I don't follow the shade room, but like academics, I see in the comments. Yeah, like, academics is definitely not on her side, but th- it's fucked up that it's like sides <laughs> in the situation anyway. Because I feel like a lot of people believed her at the time too, because it was during the whole believe all black women, yeah, like protect protect black women that movement, you yeah. know. And she kept like touting that, like I was shot, protect me because I'm a black woman, you know, yeah, whether it's you, true or not, you know. If you just hear one side of the story you instantly believe it because it's something new you get yeah if you normally you believe the first thing you hear about something yeah yeah for the average person you know 
And it's like Juicy Smolier. Yeah, it's like Juicy Smolier. Yeah, Smolier. <laughs> That's what it was. But, yeah, but I think. She's lying. The, I I believe she's lying. I don't I don't know what happened, you know, but. I just know Tori I, didn't shoot. I, I don't I don't see a scenario where this man would have threw his life away because he was on top of the world at this point. Like he had it was during the it was during Corona and he had like a really super popular like Instagram series going on. Yeah. He had just got like access to his masters and got out of his record deal. And he like everything he dropped he was, was just fire. Yeah. Fire, fire, fire. And then Shanks five. He dating and she was like the hot rap chick at the time and he dating and fucking her, you know, he was on top of the world. So why would he step out of the yeah, car but that's not and be like reason. dance bitch? But that's not a reason to not do it. Yeah, it's true. I mean for me it is. Like yeah, he had a lot you. to lose. But yeah. I feel I feel what you're saying, like maybe he was just drunk as shit and just Yeah, but nah. Evidence like But the evidence, evidence is important kind of like those type of edit because they took him. It's not like he he didn't even have the time. Remember, it's not like he went home and you know didn't have the time. They took him immediately and did that residue inspect like to see the evidence that night. Yeah, and they he don't him, have none. They took him to the precinct. So if you shot a gun, that gun residue's gonna be on you, bro. Like yeah, that should that should exonerate him right there. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. Like I say, she trying to sway public opinion. And these days in the court system in America, if you convicted in the court of public opinion, you probably going to be convicted nah. in the fucking evidence. real court. Evidence. Not with that type of evidence. Yeah. Anymore. He got some evidence. But it, it, that is backing true. Him up, that is true. Like, you know, in the he, public he's, eye. I'm sure he's sweating a little bit, though. I'm sure he's putting it out to people like <laughs> he ain't got nothing to worry about. But these days, even if you innocent, you can be found guilty. Yeah, but you still, know? the career is gone. He... He's, ah, nah, he bounced back. He bounced, he bounced back because he's a, he's really talented, you know? Like, you can't... That's the thing about music. If you really got, like, really good music, that's why people still support R. Kelly. Like, after everything, all the little kids he done peed on and everything, oh, yeah. it's people that still will ride for R. Kelly to I, the I, day I, I, I don't he, ride, they die. I don't ride for R. Kelly, but... I, I mean, if without if the, stepping the name of love, come on, you stepping? No, look, look. <laughs> I put it like this. Look, look, I put it like this. Like, I, don't get me wrong. Like, he, well, he, I think he's, a, I think he's a monster. But like, when it comes to just music, the nigga, like the nigga's fly. a genius. He's a genius, and he he is definitely the king of like R and B. He, is, you can't, you can't take that take away that from, away from like, him. And that got nothing to do with like I. Definitely think he should sit in jail, rot, yes. all that, one hundred percent, like what he did. But that bitch. Can but sing. I believe I can fly though. Yeah, yeah. Like ignition remix. Like space my kid, jam. My again? kids sing that. Yeah, like he Go has on, like space he jam. He has classic timeless music, and you you just can't. AJ nothing but a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mind hey, telling cr- me no, <laughs> but my body. <laughs> But look, bro. You see the video of him singing on the phone in prison to like some other inmate's yeah, daughter. You know what I was? No, nah, I didn't see that. But you know, what I was watching the other day. Was uh, I was watching the um the daughter really? Yeah, she like begged him to sing, and he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." I you saw could that. tell. You could tell he didn't want to do for it the, for the uh for the money for in the jail. He probably didn't want to get he's fucked to get, that he's day. To get commissary, nigga. Because when he when get she out. asked, he was like. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> he was like so annoyed by that shit. <laughs> yeah. He like, I don't want to get fucked tonight, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, like <laughs> that's crazy. Like I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know how I got on that point. I was referencing some other shit, but anyway. Um. Yeah. Yeah, R- but R. Kelly is definitely. Uh, but Tory Lanez, Tory Lanez, yeah. his music, his music is really good. So he still has a career. Like even independently, people still. There's a lot of people on his side. And like, still support him because they don't believe her, and vice versa. You know. Okay. But I think I hope he gets off because I don't believe he shot her, and I don't, I don't either. even really believe she got shot. Maybe she did really step in glass. I don't know. I think it. I think it's a little bit of a a big stunt by her and the people who handle her to catapult her into like superstardom, like. Higher levels of fame because I have this theory about like Chris Brown Rihanna. and Rihanna. I was about to say that. 
and how they wouldn't be as famous to, as they are today uh, if it wasn't for the scandal when he beat not her up. Chris, not Chris Brown. Chris Brown, I feel like that. Look, look, bro. And that's crazy, bro. That I was literally thinking that. Like, <laughs> I think that more about, don't get me wrong. Like, I love Rihanna. Like, she, she's the GOAT. Mm -hmm. But I feel like during that time period. I mean, she was on her way, too. She was too. on her way, but, oh, no, because did Disturbia and all that shit come out already? She, nigga, she was already okay, with Jay-Z okay, and all then, type of shit. Mind. She was already, yeah. Yeah, she, she had that path laid out for her, That bro. is true. That is true. But yeah. it probably wouldn't have hit as hard if she wasn't America's sweetheart for so long after getting her ass whooped by Chris Brown, you know? Yeah, but you know, you know, you got into the story of that, like, the story was kind of like, I, I only thought, like, Chris Brown was, like, wilding, but she was, like, kind of wilding on him, too. She bit him and all types of shit. Yeah, that's what they say. No, no, I mean, I mean his side of the story. Yeah, that's you know, his he, side. He did that, interview, that documentary yeah, yeah, not yeah. too long ago because he never spoke on it except for that one time he got pissed on the news. You know, like, he was on the same thing, CBS. Oh, yeah. Talking to him about it. Uh, but I didn't really hear his side, but when I heard, heard, heard his side, I was like, I, I don't think he was right, but I'm just saying I was kind of like, I was just under they the both impression. They both that fault. You the, know? Yeah, the, the media made it seem like he was just an animal. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. he just beat the shit out of her. And like, but, I mean, you know. it's always circumstances and shit, but, you know, you can't, you don't never want to be that dude that just yeah. spazzes out and yeah, of course. beats I mean, I, the fuck out of your girlfriend. Even if you are both crazy the dudes. Like, if a chick win. hit me, I'm getting the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? I always thought they was going to be back together. Yeah, I was, I was hoping for a long time. Like, maybe they get back together oh, one God. day. <laughs> then she's with ASAP Because ASAP. at the point They was so You know When they was together They was like The it couple You know what I'm saying And like Still <laughs> Not now Definitely not now But at the time Like everybody was Rooting for them Like fucking Tyra Banks to, say I just kind of wondered Because this was I'm not off that topic Because we kind of like Talking about celebrity Talk about Rihanna I wanted to say Like you know Talk about ASAP Like how he got arrested You heard about that ASAP Rocky He got arrested For uh like in Sweden or something. No, he got arrested it recently. Recently, because you know they're about to, she's pregnant, and then he flew. They he was in Barbados. He flew to the LAX, and the police, you know, apprehend him and took him into custody because he allegedly shot somebody in 2021. Whoa, I didn't hear about that one. Oh, that's yeah. yeah, that's one of the things that I wanted to put. You know, yeah, he uh, he got arrested and. Uh, Apparently he shot somebody at in Hollywood, right? Hollywood. And uh yeah, they did the report. They 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 basically, you know, normally you're supposed to tell management. They were saying you're supposed to tell the management and he, they would bring him there, but they didn't want to say it to him because they were hoping to catch the gun on him at the airport. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so as of right now, he is So he's in jail he's right currently now. Currently locked up. Currently wow. locked up. For for you know assault with a deadly weapon you know in in California, that's bro. This wow, he got the, one of the richest women in the world pregnant. I don't understand this, and then this is another thing. Like, why do niggas do crimes in Florida, New York, California, Chicago? Nigga, niggas gonna bury you if they wind up. Finding, you get more time in those states or something. Yeah, nigga, like it's over. They give you a lot of time. Like, Florida don't play. They got the death penalty, nigga. Them, shit, them niggas don't play, like, when it comes to certain you things. You think he did that shit, though? It's a lot of niggas that look like ASAP. Like, it's a lot of niggas. I don't know. They said they got... That could have been Travis Scott. They know? said they got footage. Uh, they said okay. they got footage. Like, they got... Sub, what do you call it? Like, the evidence with substantial... Substantial evidence. They got a lot of evidence that it's him. Damn, well, can you I'm imagine to going to prison while your baby mama is Rihanna? Like, you got a billionaire girl waiting on you outside, and you were sitting in jail. And that was before he got with Rihanna. Spreading your butt cheeks Actually, and coughing. I was, I was afraid of um, being in California with the death penalty, because you never know if some weird girl is taking her life, and you are just there, and you don't know, and you'd get into this You mean like suicide? Yeah, stuff like that. And, and you get say, accused of, yeah. like, killing her or something? Yeah. I mean... You never know. It was not... You know, that a lot of playmates... Did any were, playmates ever make to commit suicide? Yeah. Did somebody commit suicide when yeah. you was there? No, we're not there. But there are playmates that committed suicide. Oh, yeah. I think they... Did they talk about that? In, they talked about that in the documentary, um, right? Yeah. One, one girl of, yeah. who was supposed to be running drugs for him or something like that supposedly killed herself. <laughs> no, that's that's that was another thing. There were a few people dying. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, I didn't watch the whole thing. 
fucking depressing. Damn. I thought I was finna see some titties and shit, but who kind of went all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to touch bases on ASAP, so you know, free ASAP, yeah. Yeah, free ASAP. He already was locked up in Sweden or something a while ago, right? And they kept yeah. him for a long time. I mean, he got a, he got a little track record too, you know. Then you got you know, sorry, mention another thing. You got the baby, you know, punching his artist, you know, backstage. You hear that was that? wild. He did like a spin move and like yeah. turned his back and like boom, but still got rocked after right after that. We well, got he, he got he got rocked. The baby got baby got he got he got kind of rocked on the yeah. second punch. I didn't see it. It was just it was I the move he like he was the fucking Dragon Ball Z move he tried to do in the beginning. But yeah, man, we got to talk about that on the yeah, next pod. We yeah, about yeah. A, we about two hours and thirty minutes in almost. Yeah, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. I did want to hit one more subject yeah, yeah, real quick. Let's get it. If you still got time. Yeah, I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> to work tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. We, we'll just hit this one real quick because I want to. I want to hear a woman's perspective perspective on this one. Um, I can't remember the dude's name, but he's like, like uh. I think he's a boxer. This is a famous guy. Can't remember his name because we two hours and thirty minutes into the podcast. But he's with his wife, right? Walking with his wife on the street, gets robbed at gunpoint. Like somebody got a gun on him and his wife. You know what I'm saying? And while he getting robbed, his wife takes off running and leaves him there to be robbed by himself. Uh, is how. How do you feel about that without me saying my opinion at all? What do you think of of her? Do you think she made the right decision or do you feel a way about her leaving her husband in that situation? Mm, So it depends if she gets help in that moment, you know, run away. Like right away. Yeah, to get help. Mm -hmm. That would be a reason for me to like escape the situation and... Um, just get help. Didn't think about it like that, because I'm thinking already at the moment you you you, you I mean, dirty bitch. You over here. <laughs> I'm thinking I never no, but that was that was that was a good opinion. Because if she's running, you know, you both want to survive. If especially you got children or something like that, you at know, least you one of you want to survive. You know, one of <laughs> probably no, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> yeah, no like, realistically, if in that situation, you know, one of you like if somebody got to die, at least one of y'all. Would make yeah. it to yeah. take care and of the kids like, and wouldn't stuff. You, wouldn't you want to your wife to leave the scene? I mean, I would. I would. I wouldn't want that shit to happen when I'm with my wife, and I wouldn't like if I told her like, "Baby, run." If I if I seen yeah. a situ- like a a, a situation, <laughs> I would. I would be cool with it if I told her to do that shit. You know, yeah. if I was if I seen a, a opening. And I know I couldn't get away, but I knew she could get away to save herself. I'd be like, baby, get the fuck out of here, run. Are you yeah. saying that you have to confirm the run? But before she runs? Do we know? Because if he I don't say that. No, he didn't say that. But that's she, what they're saying. But like, listen though, but if 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 she just run and like if she saw the opening and then like hit me to the shit and she just leave me there, I'm gonna feel away but, about but, that but shit. The opening is like, you know, the opening is the the opening, you know what I'm saying? Let's say like her running is the opening. Yeah, like, if I don't catch the opportunity, it's my fault, is what you're saying? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, nigga, gotta, gotta. Like, nigga you, that cause, cause Cause black dudes, cause, you know, we see somebody running, we running too. We ain't even got to know what's going on. Okay, because say, like, say, like, <laughs> say, like, you know, same scenario, you're in a, you know, situation like, I don't know, let's say you're in a situation like the terrorist attack or some shit like that, and, you know, you're in a stage, you know, at a concert, and somebody's in that bitch trying to shoot that shit up, and, you know, shit is chaotic. Wouldn't you hope that you, you know, you, wouldn't you be happy in heaven if your wife escaped? You know, what I'm in heaven I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nigga, I'm talking shit like a motherfucker from heaven. <laughs> Should have got me out of there too. <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, it depends on the situation. Like, like I said, if I, <laughs> I just think I would feel away. Like after she ran, if she didn't say nothing or Bro, I didn't say nothing, you just left me there to die. Like I would understand. Cause like like I said, somebody got to take care of the kids. What she was like, I'm so scared. I just I saw. So you was like, I, fuck me, huh? What she was like, I try to hint to you. <laughs> <laughs> it would be your fault, kinda. Nah, but I think because survival would, is the is the. But honestly, nature. I wouldn't. I want. I wouldn't think. Like logically, I wouldn't want either one of us to make no sudden moves and run though. Cause like her, turning 
and running could like spook the nigga <laughs> get you who black. got the gun on me and get me shot. Like you, you running, exciting this nigga and shit. And you could you could be the reason why but I get shot a, and die. You have a video like I gotta see. I have to see. The I don't run. think it was no. I don't think it was no. Uh, video. I mean, you can imagine it. You know, like it got. It, I, I I think I guess I have to see the run. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm sure. I don't think like, it's a video. She's like you know, like push that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that if off. she pushed him into the gun, then I would have to be like, oh no. But you know, all all no funny. Like I feel like I don't know. I would. I don't know. I would want my opportunity. You know, I don't know. I of feel course like, you would want your her like, to get out I of there. Like you know, ego as a man. Like if that was me, and I saw the opportunity, because obviously her her running had to be an opportunity. She felt that she took. Yeah, and so the guy survived. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if the guy, if I'm the guy, and I see the opportunity, I think as on a on a ego as a man, I'm gonna make sure my wife gets. That opportunity first. Yeah, that's what I'm. You saying. get what I'm saying? So like, but it's an opportunity that might get you killed though. She escalating the whole <laughs> shit because the dude got the gun to you. He like, don't fucking move. Give me all your shit. If you talk, if you run, I'm shooting everybody. And your wife take off. Getting she help. Gone. She gone. I'm getting help. He like, I told that bitch not to run. I can't shoot her, so I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you now. Y'all can't follow instructions. I just think it's putting the dude like, of course she getting away. That's cool, but she putting the dude at risk. Like she's saying, "Fuck you and your life." Nah, I wouldn't say she ain't th- saying it directly. She's, she's saying that. it a little bit she's though. Like, Fuck you. I'm more important. I, I, I would, should take care of the kids. I you don't totally do shit give, anyway. <laughs> give him any, anything I have. Would you run in that situation if you? No, you I would stand say in the, take whatever you want. What okay, if but you like, would you would like, leave your husband though. What if he not what if, in the first place? Okay, what if he yeah. said for sure like he was like I'm gonna take this stuff, but I still gotta blast you. You know what I'm saying? Like then I saw, say take him. <laughs> 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 I still gotta do it to you guys. Nah, if he say that, we fighting because there might be a witness. <laughs> yeah, we. He and do if it. you see that opportunity, you probably will run, right? What if your husband like you know you're like you know like I'm hit him, he'll see it, and you know for a fact he's gonna blast you. I mean, you gotta run, man. You gotta do something if he give away the ending and shit. But you if know, you, you didn't, know the would you be time. tight if you like didn't see that opportunity to say he blasted you, thought you was dead, but you <laughs> survived? <laughs> what? <laughs> what he shoot you in the leg or something? No, nah, look. Let's say you knew you were about to die. Mm-hmm. She was hinting the hop- opportunity for you to run. You didn't see the opportunity, and she ran. She ran. Okay. He blasts you and puts you in critical condition. And he thinks you're dead. So yeah. you were supposed to die. And you survived. And you survived knowing she ran. Would you still be tight? I wouldn't be tight because that was my fault because I didn't see the opportunity. <laughs> I should have been more perceptive in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That, that ain't my fault. But if she just ran and I ain't know nothing about that shit and I look back and I'm just by myself <laughs> in this situation, you know, I can't be like she, you know, I can't. I don't know. I think. Yeah, what, if, what, little... if, what if he was like, you know, what if he had like a, like a certain amount he was trying to hit, and she had the gold watch or something? Like, if I don't get the exact amount, you know, you was like, yo, babe, give me that gold, and you look, and she gone. She gone. And it's like, damn, I can't even get the exact amount. Man, you dude. dead. You dead. Yeah, that's a crazy situation. But I think I would feel a way <laughs> if my wife just left me in that situation. Like, we do everything else together. We getting robbed together too, bitch. I mean, not bitch. <laughs> I love you, baby. So, but you know, we a team, right? So you get you robbed that, with me too. But so you supposed to die together, say shit in that situation. Nah, I'm gonna try to protect her, but like, let me handle this. Let me put uh, trust me to handle the situation. You know, don't just leave me and put me at risk of getting shot. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's where I fought the lady because she she could have got him shot. You know, she could have got some both people, of them shot. People, she could have got shot in the back. He could have got shot some in the people, head. Some people like react like that, though. You know, you know. Yeah, ever, it's you the ever, fight or flight you, or freeze. Yeah, you ever thing. get scared and like you're like somebody hops and you're like, oh, you snuff them or something. Like you're like, oh damn, it's like, a reflex. Your reflex. Yeah, that's my reflex. You know, you hit some. <laughs> you, you know, when I get scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I guess you can't really fault her because she was just probably she just probably reacted how her body reacted. You so know, opportunity. She was like, oh no, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> She got the fuck out of there. But yeah, he said he said he was glad that she ran though, because he wanted her to get out of See? there. But that's what he has she to say. Knew. 
That's what that's what he has to say in the media. But I bet it's some different some different words being said behind closed no, I'm doors. Pretty, I'm pretty sure they talked about that before. <laughs> yeah, probably. <coughs> but yeah, man. I think we hit all the topics that we can hit this week. You know what I'm saying? The Playboy stuff was more interesting than I thought it was going to be, so we stayed on it more than Sorry. an hour. No, uh, that's what we want. It you was know? Definitely, uh, definitely interesting. It definitely. But you um, holding the, the the crazy story away from us, though. I know some crazy shit. Did happened. anything happen? You want to say it on? Not that the Playboy mentioned. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, not at the Playboy mentioned, but some shit happened in what Las Vegas or something at the Playboy. Uh, condo or whatever you was talking about <laughs> i know you may we're gonna have you back again so you can tell us we're gonna get you we're gonna get you some whiskey next time so <laughs> maybe more more stories come out <clears throat> but anyway uh you want did you want to say anything else before no we? no no i'm good man you know i enjoyed it uh it was definitely took my my stereotypes that i had on the you know the you know, the playboy mansion like i said in the beginning i thought it was like they come with a, like a holy plate and the <laughs> towels and shit. And then you told me your experience. So it's kind of like, oh, it's kind of like, okay. But now nah, it was definitely interesting. Uh, I appreciate you being on here. And shit. Yeah, we appreciate you Thanks joining you us. Me. It was fun. Good conversation. And uh, is there anything you want to say or? Not anymore. Plug your Instagram. Follow and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say to our new, like, TikTok audience, uh, we appreciate, you know, everybody who's commenting and watching and sharing For the videos sure. and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to try to keep the comment, keep the content coming. Yeah, for sure. And, like, you know, I, I want people to know, too, like, we go on there personally, like, and really read these comments. So, yeah. like, it helps us out, too. It's like, you know, it gets us a feel of our audience and stuff like that. And I've actually had some, like, kind of, like, on the basis, like what things that we touched on, like me and Tommy touched on, and, and you know, in the within the podcast, like you know, some deep conversations, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. you know, real opinions and stuff like that. And I like you know that you guys respect you know our opinions on things or whatever. And yeah, man, it's it's lit. Keep doing that. Um, I enjoy it. Some people are funny, you know. Yeah, some of the comments. Some, y'all, y'all gonna leave me the fuck alone about my beard, though, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like five yeah, comments like, about my beard and shit, and one about your haircut last time. Right? <laughs> but I know, like, hate. Real? I didn't see Somebody that. Somebody called you Jada Pinkett or some shit like that. <laughs> so you had alopecia or something. And they was talking yeah. about my mustache was too too thin or something. So, but I know with the with the love gonna come the hate. You can't have yeah, the love without the hate. You saw, you know? it be people behind like Pikachu <clears throat> fucking. Yeah, that's Pikachu what we are gonna pictures. do. All you motherfuckers is commenting crazy. We're gonna go to your profiles, find your crazy ass pictures and post you up on the next podcast and read yeah, your comment man. and give I like you a shout out. Though. I like that shit though because like, you know, low key niggas not saying that shit in person. No, nah, no, nah, it's all in the you know, you know, this podcast, you know what I'm saying? Don't I'm think still, that we up here j- yeah, we up I'm here giggling me. and shit, you know. Yeah, I'm still me. We up here giggling. We have fun, man. We had, you know, we have fun on this podcast, and we love, we fuck with everybody. But like, you know, don't think shit get, sweet. You get crazy. I'm yeah, sure. but on that note, <coughs> no me boy. <laughs> this has been the quote go podcast episode twelve. Um, we hope everybody has a good weekend. And we'll see y'all next week, man. And we appreciate you coming one more time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Yo, if you enjoyed this podcast, you already know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, I'm going to tell you what to do. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And give us a like. Because it's the Quote Go Podcast, man. You can't can't go wrong. Tune in every weekday, 6 o'clock. Friday, full episodes on YouTube and Spotify. Hit us up on the Instagram. Give us topics. And we appreciate it, man. Quote Ghost Podcast. We out.